You should join us, Kakarot. Think of the battles you'll have. Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement from the thought? Shut up! If you think I'd ever join you, then you're dumber than you look! I can't help but wonder. That child behind you, is that your son? He, he's not! Yes, that boy indeed has Saiyan blood. It's no use trying to hide it from me. I can see his tail from here. So what if he does? You know, perhaps you need a little time to decide. I'll just borrow your son for a while so you can think over my offer. Take one step closer to Gohan and I'll knock you out! Back off! <laughs> Tremble and fear. You're a joke! Solar Flare! If you want your little brat returned safely, Kakarot, prove your Saiyan spirit! Eliminate 100 Earthlings and pile them here before I return in one day. And let me be very clear about this. If I come back and I don't see a hundred corpses, I kill the kid. What are you doing here? I was pursuing him. And as much as I'd like to kill the wretch myself, the sad truth is I have a better shot at that if you were along for the ride. Hold on, you mean team up with me? Why in the world would you ever do that? Don't get the wrong idea. This would just be a temporary alliance, only for the sake of eradicating that alien off my planet. Once that purpose has been served, I'll keep my promise to crush you. Then I can get back to my plans of world domination. Bulma, I need to borrow the Dragon Radar for a bit. Oh! Let's go! Think you can keep up with my flying Nimbus? You gotta be kidding. I'm a cut above the rest of you puny humans when it comes to flying. I thought you'd at least be smarter than this. But you have no idea how out of your league you are. Let's skip the pleasantries. We're here to take you down. Simple as that. I'm sorry, brother. I was thinking about my offer and I've changed my mind. You'd probably just slow the rest of us down. And for betraying the Saiyan race, you will die! Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, 
They're even more powerful than me. Uh, huh? <laughs> you could trade yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to their level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow. How about this? If you've got a new special attack hidden up your sleeve, now's the time to use it, Goku. <laughs> Sorry, nope. <laughs> Lazy too. Meanwhile, I've been training non-stop to develop a sure kill technique. Real? Yeah. Only problem is, it takes some time to charge up before I can use it. So I'm gonna need you to fight him alone until then, if you can handle it. Gotcha. I'll take care of him. How about this? Get ready to see my real strength. How about this? We're settling this right here and now! How about this? Don't hurt my dad! Leave him alone! No, stop! Don't do it! Please, he's just a... Just a child? Is that what you were going to say, Kakarot? Don't worry, brother. You'll see your son again? In the next world? What? You little... P Piccolo! Your attack! Do it now! Ah, are you insane? Maybe, but... It's the only way to beat you! Sorry to keep you waiting. Are you ready? Do it! No! Stop! Special Beam Cannon! On this planet, we have these things called the Dragon Balls. Gather all seven, and together they have the power to grant any wish, even if it's bringing someone dead back to life. You can all go to hell. Still, I thank you for the information. <laughs> Everything that has happened here today has been transmitted to my two Saiyan comrades deep in outer space. When they've learned that I've been killed, they'll come to avenge me. The, the other two Saiyans... When... when will they arrive here? How long? One year. Just one short year. <laughs> Damn. T two of them? Even stronger than him? How sweet does that victory taste now? They're going to wipe you all out. They'll soon have you writhing in agony like the worms you are.
wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> How's it feel, seeing your little friend's corpses scattered all over? There was another one, but there's probably not a scrap of him left. Piccolo's gone. What, you gonna throw a fifth, small fry? Go right ahead. <laughs> that stupid look on your face just makes me want to kill you faster. You'll pay for this! You'll both pay! You bastards! Get out of my way! Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What? 9,000? That scouter's a piece of junk! It's gotta be a mistake! Doesn't matter. A little punk like you can't do anything against the mighty Nappa! <laughs> Out of my way! <laughs> this is insanity! How could anyone gain that much power in such a short amount of time? All right! You're the greatest, Goku! Show that muscle head who's boss! Get him, Dad! Gotcha! Yeah! Vegeta... Help me! for a paralyzed Saiyan! You're dead white! Uh, uh, he's a psycho! He, he, he just killed his own partner for no reason! Both of you need to get back to Kame House where it's safe! No, he's right. You saw what that other Saiyan can do. If we stick around, we'll only be getting in your dad's way. Sorry, Gohan. This guy's stronger than I thought he'd be. We've lost enough. I can't lose you two either. Okay. I understand, Dad. Let's finish this someplace else! Fine by me. Makes no difference. Okay, this spot should do. From what I can tell, there's no people or animals nearby. Interesting. Of all the places on your planet, you chose this as your gravesite. <laughs> you should feel lucky. Not every low-class warrior gets the chance to spar with a super elite like myself. Not long after Saiyans are born, their skills as a soldier are tested. The scum whose scores are ranked the lowest are sent to the outer worlds, where the opponents are weak. Much like you were, Kakarot. In other words, you were cast out like a dog. Yes. And as a result, I was lucky enough to come here to Earth. I'm grateful for that. Besides, even a lower-class outcast can surpass an elite if he puts his mind to it. 
<laughs> it's a nice attempt at a joke. Now let me show you a wall that you will never have the ability to scale through effort alone! Open and mix! Huh? What was that? What are you planning? You really should have never gotten rid of your tail, Kakarot. But now you'll learn firsthand what a Saiyan is really capable of. Did you feel that? There's a tremendous energy and it's swelling up even bigger! I don't think it's my dad's energy we're sensing, is it? Something's wrong. I'm going back there. Go on, hold up. I'm going too. Wait. <laughs> don't blink, Kakarot. These will be your final moments before I crush you. Am I losing my mind? He turned into a giant monkey! This is crazy! How do I fight this thing? <sighs> Since when were we dealing with a hundred foot tall monster? Only choice now is to gather energy from all over the earth and make a spirit bomb! You. No. After all this time, I get it. The monster that killed Grandpa. And the one that destroyed the tournament arena. All, all of that was... Was me? I owe this to you, Gramps. I need to beat this guy. No matter what. I, I'll have to use every ounce of my energy for the tiniest chance at victory. If I die... See you in the next world. At least I'll get to apologize to you. Yeah! <laughs> 
focus to use the spirit bomb. It will only take about 10 seconds. Come on, give me just 10 lousy seconds to concentrate! Put enough distance between us. Oh, you coward! Where are you? Come out and face me! Time's up! He found me! There, it's done! I've gathered energy from every corner of the world! Now! This is the end of the line, Kakarot! Even if you do manage to come back to life, this miserable planet won't be around anymore! Die! <laughs> Consider that! A little farewell present. I don't have the strength to lift a finger. So just do what you're gonna do to me, all right? Take your best shot. Damn you, Kakarot! How dare you leave a scar on my beautiful face! Just for that, I'm going to crush you like a grape! <laughs> Why don't I kick it up a notch? <laughs> What's that I hear? Every bone in your body breaking? Must hurt. <laughs> I think your friends are here. How quaint!
the Saiyans are a true warrior race. Don't underestimate us. You were wide open, so I just went for it. Uh, you little uh, punk. Look, you guys have got a choice to make here. Either get off this planet and go home, or you're gonna wind up like your friend here. Did you hear that, Bertha? This jolt knocks out Raccoon with a lucky shot, and suddenly he's dishing out threats to the likes of us. Hmm, he's got some nerve. Let's teach this show punk why the Ginyu Force are the most elite warriors in the galaxy. Let's go! Yeah! This is what happens to morons who underestimate the Ginyu Force. I'm not done yet. How dare you! Share your energy with me! Get ready to see my real strength! You! How could you speak up behind me? It's impossible! I'm the fastest warrior in the universe! Well, I guess the second fastest now, huh? Here's that hit. Here it goes!
So, this is the guy, huh? His power level's only around 5,000. That's him, Captain. And I thought the same thing. Don't be fooled. He must be capable of boosting his strength in the midst of combat. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. 60,000? But this guy's just a bloody Saiyan! It's not unheard of. He could have a natural talent, or perhaps his abilities have been amplified by a mutation like us. Either way, this battle's sure to be interesting. To think I'd find an opponent that I can finally demonstrate my full power on. So, are we gonna dance or fight? <laughs> Have fun, Kakarot! Petita! This is gonna be good! Vegeta, this isn't exactly gonna be a cakewalk. I don't remember asking for help, Chase. I'm perfectly capable of fighting my own battles. But in again, and it'll be you I pulverize. Understood? <laughs> Your strength is unbelievable. Yeah, I think I'll take it. What do you mean by that? Change now! Guys, listen! That's not me, it's Ginyu! Using my body! Vegeta, why? They couldn't even defend themselves! Shut up! You're too soft-hearted, Kakarot! It's kill or be killed! Now it's time to finish the job! Now die! Fool! Change now! Please let this work! What? Oh no! B bastard! How dare you! You ruined everything! I'm back to being me again! What the hell is going on? What does Kakarot think he's doing? I better swap with a fresh body and quick! Yours will do, Vegeta! Oh? Or nothing! <laughs> In the world? Whew, that was a close one. Now get ready. 
Try to hang on just a little bit longer. I'm on my way, guys! I... I'm begging you, please! Beat him! For me! For the pride of our race! You must defeat him! Please, he must die by a Saiyan's hand! For you to beg me for my help. I can only imagine how hard that must have been for you to do. I may have hated you when you were alive, but I always respected your pride. And now, it's time for me to share that pride. Pride in myself. I am a Saiyan that was raised on planet Earth. And in the name of every single Saiyan that you've made suffer, for them, and all the people of planet Namek too, I will defeat you! And I would just love to see you try. Both of you, we need to get out of here and quick! We'll only be in the way! Go on! Come on, hurry! Please don't die, Dad! Make Frieza pay for what he did! Yeah! 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 I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect of a battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I'll kill you. Get ready to see my real strength! Can't be! Freeze us alive! No! Please! Piccolo! I advise against placing too much stock in your escape. Though if you like, I can bring you closer to home! Oh, God! 
<laughs> I think the brat should go next. You! You! Ruthless! Heartless! Bastard! Go! Take Piccolo with you and get out of here now! Find Bulma, find the spaceship, and go! Do as I tell you right now, before I lose what little sense of reason I have left! His power is expanding even more than his muscles. This really must be 100% of his full power. Goku, are you listening to me down there? Quit standing around and finish him! This is our one chance! It also may be the only chance I'll ever have to fight him. If he really is the strongest being in the whole universe, I need to see if I can beat him myself. You're out of your mind! There's no point to this! Krillin can't be brought back to life with the Dragon Balls a second time! And I refuse to take the death of my best friend sitting down! Krillin was my best friend! And Frieza took him from me! He killed him in an instant! Like he was nothing! 85% now. 90! Frieza, just know the only reason I'm letting you reach full power is because I want to beat you at your best. With no regrets for either one of us. I know you want the same thing. You're itching to see what your 100% full power is capable of. Otherwise, you would have blown up the whole planet by now. <laughs> my apologies for the wait. I requested this is my full power. Then do you want to finish this, or are you just gonna keep talking? Stop a little cockroach! you into a million pieces! Just like I did that Earthling. That Earthling? Are you talking about Krillin? Don't you dare say his name! Elder to the Mercury, you have to tell him to act to transport everyone except Frieza to planet Earth! Wait! Don't make that wish! Ask the dragon to leave both Frieza and me behind! I'm serious, King Kai. You have to let me finish this battle with Frieza, or I'll never forgive you! <laughs> oh, the irony. He who triumphs loses everything, while the vanquished escapes. I hate to gloat, but there's a lesson here on the virtue of mercy. Its only value is to your foe. We'll see about that. I am Lord Frieza, the most powerful being in the universe. Which is why... Which is why... Kill the 
Piccolo, what do you say? Wanna train with me and Gohan? I've been raring to fight you again. Sure, sounds good to me. Krillin, what about the rest of you guys? Thanks, but I'm gonna head to Master Roshi's and train with him, actually. Oh, well, okay. Up there, in the sky! He was attacked from above! There are too many innocent people here! Let's take this somewhere else! You agree to that, at least? Too many innocent people? Well, that is a problem which can be easily corrected. Stop it! You bastards! It was my understanding you wanted the streets free of onlookers. Evidently, our solution does not please you. That's it! Follow me and we're gonna settle this! If all you know about me is from before I went to Namek, you're about to be in for a real shock! Whoa! Mm. 
You guys stay out of this. If I'm the one these guys want, then that's what they're gonna get. A most intriguing discrepancy, this dormant power. It departs rather considerably from the data previously compiled. But it is not remotely discouraging. His strength is within manageable parameters. Android number 19 shall now operate as your executioner. Is that right? Fine. Then get over here and fight me! immeasurable. This Super Saiyan transformation put Goku on a level far beyond us all. <laughs> we'll see. If I want any chance of winning battles to come, then I need to train hard enough to find a level beyond Super Saiyan. It started. Piccolo's getting ready to fight. Yeah, but who? Do you think it's so? No. Whoever it is, I can't sense their energy, so it's gotta be one of the other androids. Stop, Gohan! We can't help him! We're nowhere near their level right now. All we do is slow Piccolo down. Dad, that energy! It, it's gotta be Cell! He's on the move! nothing we can do to help Piccolo with the level of strength we're at right now! <laughs> Come on, Vegeta! What's taking you so long?
The Cell Games have officially begun. Now, if any of you should dare to step forward, I would like to kick things off. I'll go first. Well, well. I was hoping to save the best for last, Goku. But so be it. Come on! You fool! Nice work! I give up. I fought as hard as I could, but it's pretty clear there's no way I can beat you. So that's it for me. Truth is, I hate fighting, and I don't want to kill anyone. Believe it or not, I don't even want to kill a bad guy like you. Now, my precious little babies, see those seven spectators up there? Kill them all! Oh, and do have fun. Keep your guard up! These things are way stronger than they look! Damn it all! I, I'm sorry, guys. I messed up! I didn't think things would end up like this. Get 
ready to see my real strength. No. Stop it. I'm telling you to stop. All right, soldiers. Playtime's over. Who is that he says to kill them all? Right now. You've changed. You got what you wanted, and I'll never forgive you! You brought this on yourself, Cell! Now you're finally gonna pay for all the suffering you've caused! Want me to end it already? <laughs> I'm not letting him off that easy. He deserves to feel the same pain he put all his victims through. <laughs> Am I seeing things or did he just puke up 18? You! You son of a... Huh? In a few moments, I'll blow myself to bits! <laughs> I might die, but then so will all of you! This planet will explode in a burst of flame! If you lay a finger on me, boom! Bye-bye, Earth! No sense in wasting your last few seconds while you got them. <laughs> <laughs> I... I know that look. Sorry, I've thought this over, guys. Well, any way you slice it, there's only one way to save Earth. Goodbye, my friends. Uh, goodbye? You're not thinking of... Goku! No! <laughs> you did good today, Gohan. You made me proud. Dad, what are you... Tell your mom I'm sorry. I'm not gonna make it home this time. His energy, it's gone without a trace. Take care, okay? 
Live your lives to the fullest. And I'll see you again when you're dead. Bye bye. Uh, are we back at the tournament arena? What's wrong with you? Vegeta, tell me it isn't true. You let Bobbity Spell take control of you, didn't you? Because doing something like this would make me fight you. It's true, isn't it? If I hadn't gone to these links, we wouldn't be about to fight. I had one day, one measly day in which to beat you, and I wasn't going to waste it standing around on that ship. That was your reasoning? You killed countless innocents to try and repair your meaningless pride? Meaningless? What do you know of meaningless? I don't give a damn about Majin Buu. All I want is my fight with Kakarot! Here and now, I will emerge as the victor once and for all. There's no reason he ever should have bested me. He and I are both Saiyans! But I was royalty among our people. I was a prince, yet he prevailed. He, he even had the impudence to save my life before. And that is an indignity I cannot bear. Bobbity, move us to some place where there's no one else around. I'll give Vegeta the fight he wants, but not here. <laughs> All right then, guess you can fight somewhere else. <laughs> For you to go this far, you must have wanted to settle the score real badly, huh, Vegeta? Can't lie, I get it. This might take longer than I thought. It'll be over soon enough when I kill you! Get it up! Eat it! I'm not done yet. Here it goes! That's what you get. You nuisance. I can sense radical energy backed by the others. This Majin Buu creature must be really as powerful as the Supreme Kai was saying. I already told you, the only thing that matters to me is this battle. 
Everyone else can die for all I care! You're lying. Deep down, I know your soul is still the same, Vegeta. I'm not done yet. Fine, let's take care of this boo first. You wouldn't give me your best in this fight if you were too distracted. Vegeta! Majin Buu, kill this guy first. Right now! Who will you first off? Come on, big guy! Why is somebody as strong as you taking orders from a shrimp like Bobbity? Nobody asked for your opinion. Majin Buu is my loyal servant, and he obeys my every command, if he knows what's good for him. Get ready to see my real strength! Vegeta already tried the golden hair trick, and look what happened to him. Hold on. There's regular old Super Saiyan. Then there's a level beyond Super Saiyan. But further beyond that... Oh. Do this already. I'm sorry this took so much longer than the others, but I haven't had as much practice with this one. This is what I call Super Saiyan 3. found a dragon radar and is leaving West City. If I don't, who will? Dragon Fist!
Goku, I'm sorry, but it's about time we took you back to Otherworld. Right. I understand. What's the matter, Goten? <laughs> Goten, honey, do you want to give your dad a hug before he goes? Aw, oh, was that all? You should have said so, son. Bring it in. Goten, you take good care of your mom for me, okay? <laughs> well, that's it, everybody. I'll see you all on the other side. Crazy enough to work.
your strength is truly amazing, Kakarot. You've always been like this, ever since the day I first met you. You were prepared to meet a challenge, even when it was bigger than you were. First, I thought it was your loved ones, that it was your blind instinct to protect them that spurred you on, and pushed you beyond your limits. And certainly that was part of it. But over the years, I realized there was more, something else in the way you approach a battle. I used to fight for the sheer pleasure of it, sparing no one. I killed the dominance to feed my insatiable pride. But you never fight to kill, or even to win, only to test your limits and become the strongest you could possibly be. You showed mercy to everyone, as if you knew one day I would possess the tiniest sliver of a soul. And here I am, fighting alongside you. You defy all logic. By some miracle, your compassion is rubbed off on me. And yet I still don't fully understand how you do it. How can you say and fight with such power? And at the same time be so gentle? Perhaps it's my anger that made me blind to the truth for so long. Hang in there, Kakarot. You are number one. <laughs> And I don't who will! Kakarot! You can finish him off on your own! Just charge your energy all the way and vaporize this monster! What do you think I've been trying to do? I just didn't have a chance to concentrate. I can't focus my power! It's just so hard when he keeps coming at me! I only need a minute! One minute, that's all! Fine, then I'll make my stand against him for the next minute! And while he's occupied, you power up! Hey, Supreme Kai's and Dende! Do you hear me up there? If you can, then say something, damn it! Vegeta! I think it's about time we let the people of Earth shoulder the burden for once. The plan is underway. It's time for you to create a spirit bomb. But even if I collect a little energy from all the people who were brought back, it still won't be enough to take down Boo! It won't just be a little bit. You'll get every ounce of spirit energy they can spare! <laughs> it's really more to use the spirit bomb, Vegeta. And since I thought it's Goku, I kind of feel like a proud dad! Okay, guys, it's all set! And you can speak not to just Earthling, but the whole universe if you want! That's more like it! Citizens of planet Earth, can you hear me? I like this new side of you, Vegeta. Nice going. Here we go. People of Earth, give me your energy! We need you! It, it's ready! Go! You're an incredible warrior, Boo. It was you against the universe. You nearly won. I hope you can come back once more, but good. I want to fight you again, one-on-one, -on -one, without all the loss. 
I'll be right there waiting for you. Only stronger. Later. together like a real family you and gohan and goten are back and there's no catch that's right i can't wait to get to mount Pauzu and have some of your good old home cooking chi chi oh come on chi chi why are you crying i thought it was good news Here it goes! Let's go, Lord Beerus, you and me! But if I win, you have to leave this planet untouched, deal? Very well, I accept your terms. But know this, none in this universe can hope to match the power of Beerus the Destroyer. God thing work? I don't know. It sure seemed like it did, but I can't sense my dad's energy at all. Believe it or not, that's good news. The energy that radiates from a god cannot be detected by mere mortals. More than enough for you. You see the difference between us? Here we go! Now you've made me mad. Finally, this is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> what do you say we continue this fight on equal footing? God to God. Sounds good to me. I'm only scratching the surface of this new power. Ka -me -ka -me -ka -me but what about you, Beerus? I can tell you're holding something back. Figured that out, did you? <laughs> well, I had a feeling. But you don't have to hold yourself back for my sake, Lord Beerus. You're not gonna get any stronger unless you face me with everything you've got. Are you always this talkative? You just don't get it.
Vegeta, sorry, but I've got to run. Ugh, fine. Do whatever you want, as usual. It occurs to me, I suppose I should thank you. Thank me? What in the world for? For years, my every step, my every breath has been motivated by a single desire. Revenge. My new power, strength enough to hold the universe by its throat. It was you who gave it to me. Losing to you, to a pathetic Saiyan. It consumed me. The humiliation was too much to bear. Enough! Get to the point! Ha! <laughs> Impatient as ever. Very well. As a token of my gratitude, I will destroy you first. Would you mind piping down? <laughs> I knew it! You've been holding something back, haven't you? That's well deduced for a singleton. I've held back just like you. Then let's both go all in. No tricks, no reserves. All right, now it's your turn. Let's see this new power of yours. Care to cut to the chase, do we? Very well, then I won't hold anything back either. Here it goes! Get on now, try harder! Now brace yourself! Behold my newfound evolution! I know gold's a bit gauche, but I wanted to ensure you grasp my new position atop the pecking order. And for the sake of your feeble mind, let's keep the name simple as well. We'll call this Golden Freezer. Golden Freezer? Farewell, Goku. I can't say it's been a pleasure. I'm not normally one for preemptive goodbyes, but there is a very real possibility that I kill you instantly. And I'd rather be safe than sorry. You've always been smug, Freezer. But I guess you've earned it this time. <laughs> it's my turn! Sorry I swung at you without any warning, Goku. For a second there, I thought you were someone else. Nah, you were just rattled. Don't worry about it. So tell us, who is this guy? Would you believe me if I said he called himself Goku? What? Me? He wears dark clothes instead of your orange ones, so we started calling him Goku Black. I'll never forget the day he showed up. He said he was going to exterminate the human race. 
He said he was doing it in the name of justice. I struggled against him for a year after that, but by that point there were hardly any survivors left on Earth. Then, he tracked- Wait a sec. My future self also wrote a message specifically for me. She wanted us to fix the machine and return with you. That means she wants me to go there and beat Kakarot myself! Come on, Vegeta, it's not me! It must be someone who just looks like me! Hey, Trunks! Help me gauge how strong this guy is! Fight me for a while so you can compare my strength to his! Sure. Two right off the bat, huh? Sounds good to me. I figured this out after you left. I call it Super Saiyan 3. That's incredible. I wouldn't expect anything less from you. In that case, I'll show you my strongest move. Alright, attack me with everything you've got! <laughs> Goku Black! Oh, now I see. No wonder I couldn't find you. So, we're about to watch Goku versus Goku. It's shaping up to be a fascinating day. Not bad. But you're a whole lot stronger than that, right? I'm flattered you rate me so highly, but I'm getting too much out of this to rush. <laughs> Kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> Shall we make this even more fun? Goku, you can hurt me as much as you want. The pain will only make me stronger. Uh, okay. That's a pretty creepy thing to say. This is the finale. Space-time must be dissipating. It's going back to normal.
Uh, it would be your utmost pleasure to please engage in fisticuffs with me, your kindness, sir. All right, let's give it a go. You know, I haven't fought a god since Lord Beerus. You fought a destroyer? No, no. I'm not done yet. Please. Did you feel that? Indeed. Wait, is that Black's energy? But it was awful close. <laughs> you know, for just a plain old Kai, you're pretty strong. Between the antisocial psyche that's clearly lurking within him and the energy that he's projected outward, I'd say our suspicions that Zamasu is black have been circumstantially corroborated. Then maybe I should just dispense with him now while I can. Hmm? You guys sure about this? You know, he really didn't seem like such a bad guy to me. That's because you're too trusting of people. The energy I felt was similar, but it wasn't exactly the same as Black's. It seems there are more mysteries to solve. Do anything that Grand Zeno finds insulting. He could easily erase you, me, this entire reality from existence. Don't forget that. One more thing, Whis. If Grand Zeno does lash out, make sure it's not its Supreme Kai. I need him protected at all costs. What's up? I mean, good day and greetings. So what's going on with you? What do you want? I'm not asking much. I just want a friend, you see. You're not like most people. You're fun. I want you to be my friend, Ogie Dogie. We can do that, I guess. But is that the only reason you called? Is that a problem? Of course not, Grand Zeno. Goku would feel privileged to be your friend and provide you unsurpassed joy. You be quiet. I'm sorry, Zeno, but actually now's a bad time. There's something I've got to take care of, but when it's done, we can play, I swear! So once you're done with your busy thing, you'll play with me? Sure! And if you want, I can bring somebody else who'd be even more fun to play with, too. So the next time, you won't have to wait on me. Really? Okay, it's a date.
Go on, Goku. Rejoice! Only through me will you finally reach the pinnacle of beauty you have sought for so very long. You know, I don't know what you're rambling on about. Father! Your mind is too small. Your mind is incapable of understanding the grandeur of my success and the glory of my cause. It's like staring into the sun. You cannot see. The vast beauty of my being overwhelms you. For I am breed apart and divine. That's enough. Zamasu! I thought you were decent, but you're scheming with black! Scheming? Such a negative word. We are more like calm on a righteous crusade. I'm not done yet. So My way is almost over. Soon the world I've been dreaming of for so long will be made manifest. A truly just and perfect utopian existence. Mortals are unnecessary. And more than that, I'm welcome in my paradise. Hate to burst your bubble, but there's no way I'm letting you two get what you want. Goku, this time I'll fight. Here I am. Take me out. This is it. Disappointing you ungrateful and barbaric creatures are. The gods gave you minds capable of true wisdom, yet you wasted on self-interest and war.
can you talk about the values of mortals after everything you've done to my world? Final Flash! You think you got him? What? It can't be! I've taken godhood to a new level. Divinity made perfect. With a body that befits a Kai. One that is invincible. I can already tell I'm going to be sleeping soundly tonight. This is your end. Say it. Who's there? It seems we've returned to a future where there is no black. My world didn't change. I knew it. Beerus couldn't fix this. Not even the act of a god made a difference. We know the truth! All the terrible things you've done! We know you use the Super Dragon Balls to get your power! You think I'm a copy? Oh, you're wrong. This is Goku's actual body, down to the last battle scar. The perfect war machine. I took the Time Ring and found the Super Dragon Balls. Then, with my first wish to the dragon, I switched bodies with you, Goku. Okay, so if you're telling us you're Zamasu, then who's this guy who actually looks like him? From your world's perspective, I'm the Zamasu from this world. And I work for justice with the Zamasu from the past. You haven't worked it out yet, Goku? I'm none other than the Kai once called Zamasu. The god defeated by a mere mortal. You. But how can that be? I saw Beerus destroy you. He said you'd be gone. Old Beerus clearly doesn't understand the full beauty of this time ring. Wearing it protects me. Not even what a god did in the past can affect me. Thanks to the Time Ring, I could empower my new ally without waiting at all. We collected the Super Dragon Balls in the future and wished again. You are willing to kill your Supreme Kai just to get that ring? Yes. Then we had to make sure no one would undo our accomplishments later. So we found the Super Dragon Balls once more, and shattered them. After that, we had to keep the other gods from interfering here. I used your strength to kill every other Kai in this multiverse. That means, in this timeline, there are no more gods who can stop us. We have all the power. The two of us alone! This destruction was unfortunate, but necessary to achieve our virtuous goal. The Zero Mortal Plan.
mortals are a foolish and ugly mistake that stain the majesty of the cosmos. By eliminating all mortal creatures, we can reclaim this perfect creation. We've already cleansed a great number of planets of their repulsive mortal blight. Your filthy kind is worst of all. How many times have conflicts nearly destroyed this planet and threatened to spread across the universe? Because you are the ugliest, we are sentencing you to the heaviest punishment. A despair and terror that befits your wicked crimes. And none of you will escape it. This is it, Saiyans. For the sake of our most glorious project, you will die today. really switched. And there I found you. You were shocked to find yourself in my body, and your family was terrified. Damn you! What about Gigi? And Goten! So surely you can guess that much, Goten. Monster! You pay for that! You took my body! You took my life! And then you even killed Gigi and Goten! Now I'm mad! Now I'm really, really mad! And now, it's time to pay! Thank you. There will be no more retreating. Now you're trapped here. So this world will be the last you ever see. For a god, you're surprisingly confused. This isn't going to be our final resting place. It's going to be yours. We were even going to bring you a casket, but we couldn't find one small enough. Our master Goasu and the other Kais were foolish enough to believe mortals could be entrusted with intellect. So, Kakarot, where are you keeping that jar? 
Oh, crap! It was still in the time machine when they blew it up! How could you be that stupid? Fine. What's done is done. I'd rather win with our fist than some magic trick anyway. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah. Better keep your focus on me! Mortals do not tell God what to do! I'm not done yet! Here we go! So weak. Yeah. Interesting. What a shame you are, but a shame. This should be planted sufficient. Going all out. This is just the start. Channeling my divine rage into power. I have forged a new instrument with which to destroy you! This side will carve a reminder into your mortal flesh of the strength of my divine wrath! <laughs> Just as we foresaw, fighting this formidable Saiyan blight has carried us both to new heights. This proves our transformative power. Our destiny is to cast judgment upon all creation. Say, Hold it! <laughs> What's the matter, mortals? Relax! Don't be afraid. I thought you Saiyans loved fighting the strongest. <laughs> cool father! Goku! Trunks, you okay? He's weak. Trunks must have done something. <laughs> How did you disgrace yourself against those mortals? We were barely separated. What went wrong? It seems many of our assumptions about the mortals were badly mistaken. They are much more than just insignificant. If we're not careful, our dream of utopia is going to be ruined before it's even begun. Very well. No more games or half measures. Ta me! Ta me! Insolent mortals continue to defy and you pathetic, lowly mortals. Heal before our radiance. What? I won't lose. This game is over. You shall kneel before our radiance. Justice Get together. Thus begins a new world. <laughs> Hearken unto me. I am the glowing sun in the sky which illuminates this world. And all shall know that my brilliance is justice. I, the God Zobos, the universal wisdom, the universal law, and yes, the universal power. For this world, and for all of us mortals!
I'm putting all of our hope into this one blast! Gallic Gun! Come on, Trunks! Give it all you've got! Right! I've had enough of you impudent mortals! Away with you! Samasu? Get ready, cause I'm knocking your lights out for good! I shall smite the heart of the wicked! Face my divine wrath! Blasphemous fool! You continue to defy a god! Half of this combined Zamasu came from Black. It seems the part of his body that's vulnerable to attacks is affecting the part that isn't. Okay, Vegeta. It's time! We're gonna fuse. Just like them! Don't, you can't be serious, clown! There's no way I'm going to do that again! I don't like this any more than you do, Vegeta. But if we still need a major boost in power to break down his body, then this is the best chance we've got! Come on! You gotta admit I'm right about this! Good luck, you two. Thank you. It's now or never, Vegeta. There's something I've always wondered. When we fused last time, the Kai said it was permanent. But we split apart anyway. Do you know why? The truth is, it's only permanent if a Supreme Kai is involved. Otherwise, it only lasts an hour. So just a one-hour battle, then we're back to ourselves! Cut it out! If you say one more word, then the answer's no! Damn it all! One hour, but that's it! Vegeta, I need your help just one more time! So oh, I swore I'd never merge bodies with you again! Are you? You two doubled up, so we did the same. You know, just to play fair. We're a merged fight, a combination of Vegeta and Captain. Vegeta! And here's something new Vegeta Blue! How do you like this? Get ready for this. You made me more power. But you're still not a god! Okay, what do you say we wrap this up? But I'm sorry, is this hurting you? You aren't a purely invincible god anymore. And you can never get the number of mortals down to zero now. You see, now that you've merged, you've taken in something that's always going to be a part of you for as long as you live. Goku's mortal and destructible body. That's a revelation. That Goku's body will always be part of me. Of course it will. Such was my desire. You are mortal, Saiyan. Yet you've gained divine power. You're stronger than most deities now. Saiyans are the ultimate symbol of the failure of the Kai's. By taking Goku's flesh into my being. I have assumed both the sins of mortal kind and the failure of divinity, so they may never be repeated! Got an answer for everything, huh? Just die already! <laughs>
Hmm? It hasn't been an hour yet. It's not about gods and mortals! You don't believe in anything but yourself! And we won't let you win! I can feel it! Keep it coming, guys! Share your power with me! Supreme Kai, tell me, do you think the Zeno of this timeline is still around? Yes, there's no question. Of course he would be. No one can defeat Grand Zeno. It's impossible. All of existence. Mark my words, we're gonna win that tournament of power! Alright, let's gather the ten strongest fighters we know to make sure we beat the other universes. Sure thing, I'll head out now.
clobber these people. You gotta find a way to push them out of the ring to win. I'm not done yet. Got a little something for you. This is everyone's power, the spirit bomb! You know, you really do have a remarkable talent for fighting, Boo. Wait, I know, Frieza! That's who we should get! He can be the 10th fighter for our team! At last, the arena is finished, and the teams from all competing universes are here. We will now hear some words of welcome from the Omni Kings themselves. Thank you all! This will be so fun! We've been looking forward to this very much! So fight well, and give us a good show! Poetry, thy name is Zeno. Thank you, your majesties. For those who neglected to pour through the rulebook assiduously, I'll lay out the basic guidelines. The battle will last 100 tacks. It's roughly equivalent to 48 Earth minutes. Special techniques are allowed, but the use of weapons is prohibited, as are any lethal attacks or maneuvers. You must throw your opponent off the ring to win. Lastly, regardless of how wounded you may be, the use of restorative implements is expressly forbidden. And that concludes our review of the rules. Let the Tournament of Power begin! All right, hope you're ready. It's Goku, right? I've been wanting to talk to you. You powered up into a kind of Super Saiyan I've never seen before. Show us how, and we'll thank you by using it to beat everyone here. Starting with you! Kalifa, that's no way to say thanks! Well, I'm not sure either of you rookies are ready to handle that kind of power yet. Rookies? If that's what you think of us, 
Then you got another thing coming. Let's show them, Kale. At least you're entertaining. I'll give you that much. Don't worry, I'll back you up. I hate to ask, but this is our fight. Can you stay out? I'm sorry. <laughs> We face everything together. Khalifa, you don't think I'm interfering, do you? she's taken it's grotesque is that her idea of going super saiyan Legendary Super Saiyan form our ancestor spoke of. My turn.
Let us blossom and let us sing out the song of love and victory. Now to transform. Happiness to one and all. I send you my love, Riprian. The thunder of the wild and the roar of love, Kakunsa. The strike of love with dreams and magic, Rosie. All right, here we go. May our feelings find their way to you. to hypnotize people. How is our team? <laughs> they appear to be holding up all right. One way or another, they're all staying strong in the face of this assault. Lose! 
Ah, no way! Wait a minute. What are you doing, Goku? Yeah. I don't need your help. That's good, because I didn't come here for that. I saw those guys had you backed into a corner. And you know, it made me itch for a fight, too. I say we fight them together. Listen, Goku. The one with the ears is mine. Don't get in my way. Oh? Well, you're free to try and stop me. You're pretty fast, aren't you? But I've got my own tricks, silly rabbit. Damn it! He's too fast for me to use instant transmission. Wait. There you are! Yeah! Man, how did he already know what I was gonna do? Sure, you got speed on your side, I'll give you that. But your moves are simple and predictable. Once I get the timing down, it'll be easy. What just happened? I flexed my muscles the same way that I do before a time skip, just so that I can lure you in. Perk up those ears and listen carefully. Improved yet again. Do you want to try challenging me? <laughs> Fine by me. Whose power is that?
Well, well, well. It appears that outrageous monster's finally joining the fray. My ally, do what you feel is required. Do whatever fulfills your desires. Fight so that you may claim the Super Dragon Balls. So, you finally decided to fight me after all this time. Yes, who would have thought that one mortal warrior could release this much energy? How amazing! I wonder what will happen next! <laughs> Sheeran defies common sense. He cannot be defeated. The power of his foe doesn't matter. <laughs> Take however much time you require. If this is your special move, then I want it done right. Goku! You can take our energy too! Jiren! Once you're out, I hope you don't regret giving me the time to finish this. is what it looks like when the seventh universe unites! This is our spirit bomb! Seriously? Impossible. He's pushing it away. Dad's not done. He can power up and push back. Kaioken times ten! Kaioken times twenty! The spirit bomb has never failed us before! It's over, Jiren. Victory is yours. Goku, is that it? Here it comes. <laughs> Something's different about him, that's for sure. Yes, I'm sensing an incredible strength from him, and yet... His energy is so calm, it gives me the creeps. Let us watch and see what happens. After all, this is the first time even I have seen Goku in this curious state. He's amazing. I've never seen my dad move like this before. Not in any form. Yeah, his dodges are like that too. What the hell's going on? Kakarot, what have you become? This is the end for you! <laughs> Goku has become so much stronger now! Goku! You got much stronger very suddenly! Yes, much stronger and much more amazing too. It's so wonderful! Oh, I hoped for this! 
but I have to admit, I wasn't sure if the Saiyan would ever be able to achieve it. Autonomous Ultra Instinct. It can't be. It's impossible. That's an extremely elite level of power, difficult for even the highest gods to reach. In this marvelous cosmos, wonders really do happen, don't they, my lord? He's now in uncharted territory. It remains to be seen what will happen to him. Jiren, leave this guy to us. Not yet! Not going to work. Boom. Got you. Good Goku, you will not take a single step further. It matters not. We can no longer fight. I guess I'm not interesting enough for you anymore, huh? Let's go! You and me, Goku! First hit was knocked out of the ring, and now Kaba's gone too. I have to get stronger so I can keep fighting in their place and give our universe a chance! So show me how to get to the next level. I don't have time to wait! I need to get to Super Saiyan 3! Okay, sure, why not? But I can only show you if you try to defeat me with everything you've got. Don't patronize me. Oh my! They are both fantastic! Double fantastic! I hope for your sake you're ready to transform, Goku. I'd hate for you to drop out before you fight for real. Yeah, you're right. I'd hate that too. Kept you waiting, huh? When I first met you, I never expected you to get so powerful, Kaliba. I'm starting to think you can reach Super Saiyan 3 now. Maybe even beyond. Hey, how about you? You game? Yeah, let's go! We'll get to 3 together! What? So you know what we need to do, don't ya? Of course! You'll charge in and I'll follow your lead, Kalifa! Like hell you will! We do this as equals! With the two of us fighting together, we're the toughest force in the cosmos! You're damn right! Yeah! 
together, we're the toughest horse in the cosmos. Haven't we? Yeah, that's right. Well, time to believe it all the way. Get out those things we got before this battle starts. What? Are you sure? <laughs> Yes, he's knocking both those Saiyans out at the same time. <laughs> what? You're kidding me! This is Kale, plus Kalifla! Fusing with Pataras? I didn't see that coming. Hey! It's about time! I've been waiting for this! Then I guess I'll have to crank it up! He's taken that glow. Well, this time I'll make sure to soak it up. <laughs> Autonomous Ultra Instinct. Hey, I won't be outdone by anybody. I'll just up my own game, too. <laughs> With Goku's threat making her think she either had to win now or be removed from the tournament has found an even greater extreme of power. There is no such conquering weapon as the necessity of conquering. Looks bad. If one of those rays hits Goku head on, it could be the end for him. 
Is she planning to burn through all her energy to knock him out? Not bad, but you can't dodge in mid-air! Game over, Goku! Now you're through! Well then, Universe 2 and Universe 6 have been eliminated. Something big to try to frighten us. But if I were scared, would I be laughing? <laughs> Here we go. His power is incredible. We don't have much of a choice, but I don't think we can stop him unless we all fight together. You don't have to tell me, that's obvious. Let's move in fast from different angles to confuse him. Then, we'll all attack at once. Ta me! Ta me! Ta Frieza! What do you say you help us fight this guy? Are you going to say please? win this for us, all right? Contestant 18 has been eliminated. That brings the seventh universe down to five warriors. With 18, we'll all have to fight even harder. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Okay, let's do this! Ta me Ta me Ta Only a sniveling coward abandons their pride! It's stunning you could find so much power without sacrificing your ideals. You fought hard to defeat Tapo. Well done. <laughs> There's something I'd like you to see. this guy? Some kind of monster? Hmm. I never would have guessed he was holding back this much! Jiren's power is unbelievable! He's in a league of his own! How are Goku and the others supposed to compete? Do you 
want to see what I'm capable of? So, now that your little friends are gone, you're finally getting serious. Vegeta! <laughs> Come now. Don't be foolish. You have no chance against me, especially in your current form. Don't you shrug me off! <laughs> Seeing that rip in your snazzy outfit makes it all worthwhile. You will suffer! Frieza! You're okay! Take what you deserve! Get at the hands of Lord Frieza! <laughs> Sad. I'm not done yet. Mediocre. <laughs> Now the burden of weakness falls upon you. Goku! Vegeta! No, come on, guys! What's he doing? Has he gone mad? At least get yourself out of the way! Hey! Goku! Vegeta! I'm giving up my dream of that cruise. You owe me. There. I bought you some time. Sacrificing myself to help other people. Look at me, being all human. Even if I'm not the one who does it, even if I'm not the one who delivers the final blow, as long as the universe wins, it's fine by me. Oh, Vegeta, I'll get you that wish. It's the last thing I do. So he entrusted his energy to you. More foolishness dressed as valor. Trust provides nothing but a path to the grave. Come on, Jaren! Stop lying to yourself! <laughs> <laughs> So, is that pitiful display the most you can do? I'm standing here with Vegeta and the rest of my team trust that I can find a way to pull this off! I'll win because I refuse to let them down! I won't fail! Kakarot! Go, go, go! go. Yeah.
Look at him. He's like a new fighter. It's like the first time he fought Jiren. And when he fought Kefla. I'd say that this match is about to get a serious shakeup. He cannot afford another misstep. I'm quite sure this will be his last chance. Each time he defies his physical limits and forces himself to fight like a god, the strain on his mortal body increases. He has already pushed himself so far, and with no more allies to aid him, he cannot hope to recover again. If the glimmer fades from his eyes, it'll be over. With his incomplete Ultra Instinct, all he's doing is delaying the inevitable. You called him? Jiren's attacks are intensifying as well. He's got Goku pinned down. Quick, Goku! Get out of there while you still can! Hurry up! No more talk. Just shut your mouths and watch. Something beyond my strength's limit. Goku seems even more amazing than Jiren now. Yes, now he is super, super, super amazing. Indeed, sires. He has arrived at something truly superb. Yes? Goku's done it, hasn't he? He's finally achieved it. Yes. It's astounding. This immortal really is something else. Look at that brilliant form. There can be no doubt. This is Autonomous Ultra Instinct. Like a firestorm! Jiren's energy is climbing even higher! Tell me how. How you stand up no matter how many times you fall! Answer me, Goku! Because Vegeta and Seventeen and all the others keep everything they have, so I can keep going. If I do quit, I betray that trust, and I refuse to let all of them down. It's useless! Your ideals mean nothing in the face of my power! You say they don't mean anything. I'll show you that they do! Impossible! How is he doing this? That should be obvious. Goku can reach these heights because he's not just fighting for himself. He fights for all of us. That's the difference here. Piccolo is right. Behind every one of Goku's strikes is a whole community of people who've grown up with him, strengthening him over a lifetime of unimaginable challenges. Each one has been crucial, inspiring and pushing him forward. Goku doesn't imagine for one minute that he's gotten this far on his own. He's pushed all of us forward, too, shaping us into the people we are today. Even as he fights his opponents, he has a funny way of drawing them in. That's just the kind of man Goku is. This is no... Goku's looking pretty useless now. We're gonna have to handle this ourselves. Yes, obviously. What are you doing, Jiren? Kneeling down at your enemy's feet? Is this honestly the way you want your fight to end? Get up! Come on! Why would you spend all those years honing your strength, rejecting everything and everyone else, just to surrender? Keep fighting to the end! Oh, 
sorry about that, you guys. I didn't mean to leave you like that, but I got this. How the hell are you still standing? I don't need to share the limelight with you either, monkey. The three of us need to do this together to get this done, or our universe is doomed! So, Goku, once again you have returned, and once again you will fall. his own. We still may not be enough for him, even with all three of us teaming up. You do remember your promise, don't you, Goku? To bring me back to life. Seriously, Frieza? Will you keep your word or won't you? As long as you hold up your end of the bargain and help us win, I'll hold up mine. You should know that better than anyone by now, don't you think? That sickening naivete of yours is what I quite despise most of all. But for my own self-interest, I should probably thank you. You guys done yet, or you want a hug first? Nothing would repulse me more. I'm not done yet. I need to get my act together. Nice up. I sure could learn something from you and the way you fight. Frieza. Silence! Don't make this worse by thanking me, Saiyan. I need no other gestures as long as you keep your word to me, monkey. You got it. Consider it done. Contestant Jiren is eliminated. The Eleventh has been defeated. They will now be expunged. Jiren! I know we just barely finished the battle of our lives, but I'm already hungry for the next fight. Maybe you don't want to hear this. But I feel like we've gotten stronger together, and I think that's worth a lot. I hope to see you again, Jiren.
What an incredible warrior. Yeah. I will. Keep it real, Zennies. <laughs> we'll never stop getting stronger, right, Vegeta? Of course we won't. Only a fool will put limits on the strength of a Saiyan race. <laughs> That's what you get! I can't believe you actually fell for that old gag. That lot of good all that power did at the moment of truth, huh? Really? So that's what it is then? I have to say, even for you, that was a pretty dismal move. No! No! It can't be! If there were any brains in that head of yours, you'd have realized my speed has increased as well. Which means, unfortunately for you, that little ruse only succeeded in pissing me off. If what I heard over the scouter is to be believed, 
All seven Dragon Balls are needed in order to make a wish. I only need to find one to prevent Frieza from being able to use them. Those Earthling Stooges will find the other six for me. Then I'll take them all. Once I get that wish, not only will I be granted eternal life, but no one, not even Frieza himself, will be able to stand in my way. I'll be uncontested, utterly invincible. I, Vegeta, Prince of all Saiyans, will rule the universe! Vegeta, you cur. Why would you dare defy Frieza? Isn't it obvious? I hate the bastard, always have. And now that there's a chance not to just seize eternal life, but to wrench free of his control at the same time. Well, the real question is, why in my right mind wouldn't I turn against him? Starting to get the picture, pretty boy? You're seeking to use the Dragon Balls for yourself. Frieza will not get his dirty hands on them! And once I'm given immortality, Frieza is as good as dead! His joke of an empire is finished! Certainly even someone as thick as you knows it'll take more than immortality to conquer Frieza. Enough talk! You've never had a real taste of Saiyan power! So here, eat up! Bravo, Vegeta. Your progress intrigues me. Enough so that I feel it's only courtesy to show you the full extent of my own power. Something I've let lay dormant for many years. Such a sense of humor! You might as well know before you breathe your last breath. There's a very good reason I keep my full powers hidden. You see, exploiting them calls for a drastic transformation. Quite a distasteful one, in fact. Hideous, even. Naturally, I am somewhat reluctant to sacrifice my looks. But when my hand has been forced, what choice is there? <laughs> I'm waiting. Eager, aren't we? Very well. Don't say you weren't warned. Okie dokie, Vegeta! I hope you're ready, cause now you're gonna get it! We are... The Ginyu Force! Raccoon! Ha! <laughs> 
Gloves are off now, buddy boy. Eyes up! You're dealing with me now! Don't kid yourself! What makes you think you can take me now, Vegeta? Because with each battle, I'm getting closer and closer to becoming a Super Saiyan! Oh, come off it with your fairy tales! I really must hand it to you. In all my years, I've never been so angry as I am now. Now you'll pay! You vile, filth-sucking maggots will rue the day you cross my path! Prepare yourselves to embrace oblivion! Go on, then. Do your worst. But if you think this is going to be easy, then you're dead wrong! You haven't a clue. I'm becoming a thing you fear most, the legendary Super Saiyan! <laughs> Do you really expect me to take such desperate boasts at face value? I've heard enough of your pathetic lies!
Now get ready! You little wretch! Consider yourself lucky I didn't incinerate you! Uh... <laughs> the rest of you stay back! Just keep your eyes peeled and enjoy the show! Someone's full of confidence, you poor fool. The helplessness of your situation has made you delusional. I doubt you'll be so smug once you realize what you're up against. What stands before you now is the thing you fear most. I am a Super Saiyan! There won't be a shred of you left when Kakarot wakes up! Sorry to dash all your hopes and dreams, Vegeta. But for all your efforts, you never even came close to being on my level. You aren't gonna want to hold anything back, Frieza. Not against this one. Uh, you see, he is what you fear more than anything else in the universe. You're dealing with the real Super Saiyan. <laughs> oh, Vegeta, you forget. I don't enjoy jokes, and you've never been very funny. You murderer! He couldn't even defend himself! Kakarot, I need you to know... what happened to planet Vegeta, where we were born. It's gone. Not because it collided with a giant meteor. It... it was Frieza who did it! We served him blindly for years, and he disposed of our entire race, wiped us from existence. I... I'm begging you, please, beat him. For me, for the pride of our race, you must defeat him, please. He must die by a Saiyan's hand.
With my anger at its peak, it happened. Finally, I have become a Super Saiyan! Chips say you androids don't feel pain. You're very lucky. <laughs> For you. Do not bother, it is futile. Cursed robot! He escaped away faster than I thought! Well, well. Not the sort of place I expected to find you three. But it'll have to do. Your leaving all of a sudden got me curious, I'll admit. Where is your destination? Goku's house, wherever it is. To kill him. Just as I thought. But you're never going to get there. Because I, Vegeta, shall crush you here and now! Hey guys, Vegeta seems to be pretty cocky, doesn't he? It must be a Saiyan thing. They always talk such a big talk, and then they end up dying so fast. It's a shame. You shut your mouth, you disrespectful toy! I'll rip all three of you to pieces. Who's first? Let's play. Just you and me. Eat this! Eat this! 
want to keep going? Now, watch closely, Cell, because I'm about to wipe that disgusting smirk off that face of yours! Vegeta! of yours can make the slightest bit of difference against me. I, I know it would. I would have the ultimate power. You wouldn't even stand a chance against me. All right, then. I'll allow myself to be goaded into your trap. Go on. Obtain your so-called perfect form. Father, no! Stand aside, boy! Vegeta! 
have been spotted! Run for it now! You're making a mistake, Father. We can't let Cell reach his perfect form. I've already seen one future ruined. I'm not gonna stand here and watch it happen again. I'm putting an end to this, even if that means I have to go through you. Is that so? <laughs> Who are you trying to fool? You're too soft-hearted to attack your own father. <laughs> He actually did it! <laughs> Cell really is transforming. Now we'll see if this perfect form of his is everything he made it out to be. <laughs> so this is what you wanted to achieve so desperately? Perfectly ordinary is more like it. Did swatting that little pest make you feel all big and strong? I hope so, because that was the last taste of victory you're ever going to enjoy. I suppose we'll see about that. But for now, I wonder if you would be so good as to assist me in warming up. Sure. Just know I'll be turning up the heat rather quickly. I'm terrified. <clears throat> the way this is going, I have no other choice but to use my final flash. Cell! You have mocked me for the last time! Do you truly believe your power is far superior to mine? Here! If you have the guts to put it to the test, Let's see if you're strong enough to withstand this!
Okay. If you can punch me in the face, I promise I'll take you to that amusement park you're always going on about. Really? You mean it? Here I come! Now let's just see what you can do! He may be a Super Saiyan, but he's still a child. No way in hell I'm letting myself get hit. This is the end for you! Wow, Dad. I can't even lay a finger on you. But I'm not giving up that easy. You're taking me to that amusement park! Oh, that really hurt. Submit your mind and body to me! <laughs> Babidi's using the evil in your heart to control you. Clear your mind. Remove all thoughts from your head. Sh shut your mouth! You... you know... nothing! Yes, yes! Now you belong to me! <laughs> now that you're under my control, I shall push your power past its limits! Move us to some place where there's no one else around! I'll give Vegeta the fight he wants, but not here! Let's go! It'll be over soon enough when I kill you! You know, it's pretty amazing. While I've been in Otherworld, I've done nothing but train. And yet here we are now. You and I are evenly matched. What does it matter? Your inborn talents have still placed you out of my reach. Even after all these years, that remains the same. I wanted to go back to the cold-blooded saying I'd been in the beginning. The one who didn't care about anything but besting you in one-on-one -on -one combat! But surrendering to Babidi's magic was a price I was willing to pay if it meant I could be my old self again. And as a result, I've never felt better. 
That isn't true, and you know it, Vegeta. Energy? Majin Buu. He must have finally been revived. So, is that pink blob with the cape Majin Buu? Well then, you're going to pay for what you did to Kakarot's son! Pink blob? What's that? It just means you're big and ugly. I'm not going to hell alone. I'm taking you along for the ride!
too strong. And if he's capable of regenerating any wound, then defeating him in battle may be impossible. Dad! Trunks, listen. Take good care of your mother. What do you mean by that, Dad? Why are you telling me to take care of Mom? You know, from the time you were a little baby, I've never once hugged you, because I always wanted to make you a tougher man. Huh? Come here, son. Wait, Dad? What? Hey, cut it out! You're embarrassing me! Take care, Trunks. All right? Well, I finally figured out how to deal with you, just in time. Goodbye to you all. Bulma, Trunks, and yes, even you, Kakarot. When we fought, you hid the true depths of your power, letting me believe we were equals. Now I saw it all from Otherworld, Kakarot. You let me win, so you could keep the secret of Super Saiyan 3 to yourself. Dad, then maybe this will convince you. Boo has absorbed every person we've ever cared about. Krillin and Chi-Chi too, even Bulma. Piccolo. My sons, Gohan and Goten, and your son, Trunks! They're all trapped in Majin Buu! Uh. Uh, Vegeta! Here and give it here! Ah, what are you waiting for? Hurry up already! Thank you, Vegeta. All right! I'm Vegeta and Kakarot together. Guess that makes me Vegeta. And this. Get ready for this. Is Super Vegito! What the hell is this? Yeah, it's no 
die. I've had just about enough fun for one day. So I'm going to give you ten seconds to say your prayers before I wrap this up. Alright, what do you say we get this thing started, and see just what everyone can do? Good! Who's up first? I'll fight you for it! Rock, paper, scissors! Time to hit him with everything I've got! Cause if we lose this one, then the whole universe is history! I want to see this Super Saiyan 3 of yours with my own eyes! <laughs> Our final battle has begun! With the fate of the entire universe riding on the outcome! Your strength is truly amazing, Kakarot. You've always been like this, ever since the day I first met you. You were prepared to meet a challenge, even when it was bigger than you were. You never fight to kill, or even to win! Only to test your limits and become the strongest you could possibly be! How can a Saiyan fight with such power, and at the same time be so gentle? Perhaps it's my anger that made me blind to the truth for so long. Hang in there, Kakarot. You are number one. Stay alive, Vegeta. Thanks, but I'm already dead. Impudent scum! Yeah. 
The plan is underway. It's time for you to create a spirit bomb. Wait, so your big plan is you want me to make a spirit bomb? But even if we had enough time to gather the energy for it, it might not be enough to beat Boo! No, the Earthlings will save themselves for once by contributing every ounce of spirit energy they have. Spring Kai! I need to make an announcement that every person on Earth will hear! Can you make that happen? Don't worry, I'll do it! It's kind of my special. Okay, guys, it's all set! And you can speak not to just Earth, but the whole universe if you want! That's more like it! Citizens of planet Earth, can you hear me? Please, listen closely! As I speak, a great warrior is fighting Majin Buu on behalf of all Earthlings! But despite his bravery, the odds are against him! We need your help! Raise your hands in the air and offer your spirit energy to help us defeat Buu once and for all! Hey! Hardly anyone from outside our circle of friends is giving us their energy! This isn't good! The fat Majin Buu is about to die! Kakarot! I'll do what I can to buy you a little more time! Majin Boo! Yeah! <laughs> 
great, idiots. But why aren't you cooperating? Quit yapping and start helping them. Or would you rather ignore the request of the great Mr. Satan? I'm kind of in the middle of defeating Majin Buu right now. So the sooner you send your energy, the better. Eat this. We gotta hold out just a bit longer, Vegeta. If anybody hasn't put their hands up, then do it already. <laughs> Pitiful. <laughs> Vegeta, now! Here it comes! Blow his evil peak behind away already! Nice work, Mr. Satan! Go to hell! Ah, 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 ah. Damn it all! Goku, we used Purunga's third wish to heal you. You should be able to power up. Dragon Balls! Later. Vegeta would be such a gifted speaker. Oh, that's my husband for you. Cool. Let's get underway. bright in here and my body feels heavy it's kind of hard to breathe yep and not only that but once this door is closed we're completely cut off from contact with the outside world go take a look out back that's the training area you'll see the reason why I barely made it a month in here when I was a kid oh this is crazy how could this be inside a room? It's bigger than the whole lookout. It's just a huge, empty space. 
and it goes on and on like this in every direction. Try not to wander off too far, okay? You might not be able to find your way back. Yeah, right. And we... we've got to stay a year, huh? Come on! We've got to get to work right away. First off, we should get started on turning you into a Super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan? Me? I don't know. I mean, do you really think I can? Well, sure, why not? I can do it, and you're my son, aren't you? We'll spend some time teaching you how to transform, and then we'll be able to get into the real training. Told you. It's pretty intense, right? Gravity training takes some getting used to if you've never done it before. Just keep at it, your body will adjust. Good. At this rate, he's gonna turn out even stronger than I hoped he would. Believe in yourself. Right. Time for you to take over, Gohan. Me take him on? I don't know. This is madness, Goku. There's no way the boy can win. I'll admit, Gohan's abilities are far beyond what they used to be. But you're pitting him against a foe even you couldn't beat. Listen, you have to trust me. Gohan has a power within him that's greater than anything you could possibly imagine. So what do you think? You see me hit Cell with anything you couldn't handle? Have you seen me go at him with anything you don't have? Well, no, I don't think so. But you were both holding back, right? I'm sure it'd be a lot different if you were going all out. Now, I don't know about Cell, but... I was giving it everything I had. You thought I was holding back, because you were gauging my energy against your own. <laughs> Gohan, answer me. Is this true? Yeah. All right, Gohan. This is it. I need you to go out there and win this one for us, okay? Then we can all go home. Okay, Dad. I'll do it! Commend 
you. You've backed me into a corner, forcing me to use a barrier. End this without violence. I really don't want to kill you. Even if you are evil, you can still walk away. I'm not interested in fighting you just for the challenge. My dad's the one who cares about that stuff. For as long as I can remember, whenever I got real mad, things would happen around me that I couldn't explain. Crazy things. Forget it. Oh, a fascinating story, but unwise to tell. If you intend to intimidate Runt, it helps to know a bit about your audience first. Case in point, let's just say for the sake of argument, it's true. You have huge reserves of power, and let's just say I'm the sort who wants to see them firsthand! Do not come any closer. It is highly unlikely you could survive such a blast. I am going to self-destruct and take Cell with me. Huh? <laughs> such a shame, Android 16. But then a mere bomb wouldn't have been enough to destroy me anyway. Oh, 16, looks like you joined the lengthy list of Dr. Giroux's failures. What, what in the world is that thing? Pay attention, little ones. Time to make them suffer. No! Gohan, listen to me. There are some foes who cannot be reasoned with. You are allowed to fight on the side of justice. Seize upon your anger. Wield it like a weapon. I understand your reluctance, but holding it in is pointless. That is sound advice. Better than I expected from an appliance. But I'd much rather tear the rage out of him. Go on. I love the animals, and everything about nature. Protect them. For me. They need you. <laughs> it's time to can it, you worthless scrap. Forgive you! So your true power has finally revealed itself. Perfect. Now we can get down to business. Hey! Not bad! 
Don't get comfortable, boy. Even with luck on your side, the odds of beating me are hardly in your favor. You're wrong. Yes, that's the spirit. Too bad you're going to lose it once you witness me in all my terrifying glory. <laughs> to a corner, forcing me to use a barrier. There's a lot more where this came from. How can anyone on this measly planet possess so much power? Go on! What are you doing? Finish him! It's all up to you! What, do you want me to end it already? <laughs> I'm not letting him off that easy. He deserves to feel the same pain he put all his victims through. <laughs> Am I seeing things, or did he just puke up 18? What? Now I actually feel sorry for you. You... You... You son of a... In a few moments, I'll blow myself to bits. <laughs> I might die! But then so will all of you! This planet will explode in a burst of flame! If you lay a finger on me, boom! Bye-bye! No sense in wasting your last few seconds while you got them! <laughs> <laughs> I... I know that look. Sorry, I've thought this over, guys. Well, any way you slice it, there's only one way to save Earth. Goodbye, my friends. Uh, goodbye? You're not thinking of... 
Goku! No! You did good today, Gohan. Made me proud. Dad, what are you? Tell your mom I'm sorry. But I'm not gonna make it home this time. His... his energy... it's gone without a trace. <laughs> Surprised to see me. Ah! Something amuse you? Does imminent destruction put a smile on your face? It was because of my mistake that Dad had to sacrifice himself. It's my fault you put us in that position. I'd have given anything for a chance to do it over again. Now I get one! Then let's see if you've got the power to back up your words. Luck won't be on your side this time. You won't survive this time! I am done playing games. It's time I ended this. What's going to defeat Cell? It's going to be me! Please, forgive me, Dad. Earth is doomed, and it's all my fault. Hey! Don't go giving up now! That's not the Gohan I know! Dad? 
Is that you? Listen to me! I promise you can beat him! You just gotta believe in yourself, Gohan! Right now, you're the strongest person in the whole universe! Right! <laughs> I'll put this to rest. Goodbye! <laughs> I don't like where this is going. It wasn't much, but that was still an energy blast he released. Don't be fooled. He won't risk being disqualified. The man's intentionally holding back. Yeah, but how? Something he's done between now and the last tournament has given the guy powers way beyond what's natural to him. But I don't know what it is. I just know something's up. Yeah, like, I'm the kind of gal to give up. Just give up while you still can! You fought well! It's time to throw in the towel! <laughs> I've seen enough! That's it! Now, you answer to me! What do you think you're doing, man? Keep it together! No! You're a big man, huh? Hey, wait! Go on! Go on? 
<laughs> I am taking you down. <laughs> Spovovich! This is not over! I promise you that! Alright, let's do it! Over here! What's wrong? That's enough. Gohan, you're next. Have you been keeping up with your training regimen? Sad to say your boy's got it in his head that peacetime means he can take it easy. As things are now, I could knock him over in my sleep. <laughs> but, just as we saw with Cell, if he loses his temper and snaps again, we still may be in for a show. Can't be! Deborah! For a human, you're quite skilled. You've earned a warrior's respect. That said, I'm afraid I've come here to halt your progress. Huh! <laughs> your boss must be in a real panic to send you out so early. Did we make the little guy that nervous? Pathetic. <laughs> Do you take pleasure in taunting, or are you just stalling for time? All of you, come at me. I don't think so. It's my turn, so I'm taking you on myself. Excuse me? You dare to mock the great Tabora? This will finish it!
Obama, drugs, and even you, Kakarot. It's... it's Goku! No, it's not my dad! It's my brother! He's okay! What? That can't be! I'm glad I wasn't too late. See, you're okay. You weren't dead after all. No, it was a close call. But then the Supreme Kai saved me and took me back to his world. Where's everyone else? Majin Buu ate them. They're all dead. What? <laughs> they were very tasty. Boo turned them all to chocolate. A satisfying snack. <laughs> so, Hotshot, you want to fight Majin Boo? Fight you? No. I want to kill you. Oh, well, well. Boo, remember now! You're the one I blasted to the next continent! Yes, back in that wasteland! Over here! Dumbass! <laughs> Be honest, Gohan, what do you think? I'd say my strategy was quite successful. You should feel privileged to witness the birth 
of the ultimate Martian. You've got no honor at all. You snuck up on them so they couldn't even fight back. It's your own fault, kid. I'm supposed to be the absolute strongest fighter in the universe. But you were stronger. I knew I had to do something. That's when I got the idea. If I could absorb that curious little fuse child, then the boost of my strength would make me completely untouchable! Well, it doesn't seem like this great plan's made you any smarter. A wise fighter wouldn't be telling all this to his enemy. And if you really wanted to become invincible, then you should have used your cowardly little sneak attack to absorb me instead. <laughs> you really don't get it, do you? What? It's just like the previous Majin Buu said. I'm going to kill you in battle no matter what it takes. Nothing less will satisfy me. Okay then. You want to fight? Then let's go. Let's! Though I can sense the time limit on Goatik's power is even shorter than before. So I'll have to make this quick. Got some pretty solid reasoning for a guy like you. I guess Piccolo's intelligence is starting to rub off on you after all. Shoot! No, you die! Not so fast! You can't win! I'll give you a fight. End of the line. Time to go.
What are you and your army doing here, Frieza? Is that not obvious to you? I'm here for revenge. I don't see Goku. Where has he gone? I came all this way after all, and I would hate to destroy everyone he has ever cared for without also hearing him beg me not to. Gohan, you defeated Cell as a kid! You should be able to handle this gas bag easily! Well, I could handle most of his men, I guess. But this is really serious, Bulma. Sure, we've gotten stronger, but then again, so has Frieza. Now why does that one seem familiar? Oh, that's Goku's son, no question about it. It's so touching to see children grow. Give me some room, he's mine. Sure you don't need some help with this guy? Yeah, Piccolo. I'm not a kid anymore. Suit yourself. My daughter was born this year. And I want my little girl to live a happy life on a peaceful planet. So, if you're threatening that peace, we got a problem. Over here! You're mine! My turn now! Miserable Saiyan! I will make you pay with your suffering and the pleasure it will afford me! Well, what are you waiting for? If you're entertaining any hope of survival, you'd better run. I see you haven't inherited all of Daddy's traits. You give up much faster. No. This is punishment for the crime of simply being a Saiyan. And it's what you deserve for being Goku's son! Now die! Piccolo? Piccolo? Piccolo! Dad, you've got to beat him. All right, 
Time to go. Would you mind piping down? I suppose the cat is out of the bag now. Would you mind piping down? Would you mind piping down? Would you mind piping down? Sugar! This will finish you off! Kamehameha! Now, allow me to continue my vengeance. Over here. Are you gonna be okay? Does this mean what I think it does? Those two were only pretending to brawl. When I took that first attack, I knew right away you were holding back. So then I chose to play along with whatever you had planned. Well, if you had been too dense to figure it out, then I would have had no choice but to kill you. At least we know for certain that Frieza is truly on our side. I don't think I'd go that far. Yeah, if Gohan hadn't caught on to what he was up to, Frieza would have betrayed us in a heartbeat, that's for sure. What? My dear Gohan, that was fun. We should try to continue working together as we move toward victory. Shall we? Hmm. Now let's work as a team, assuming you can keep up. 
Don't worry about me. Come on, Dispo. You're facing both of us now. Don't get cocky just because you landed one blow. If you want to double your universe's losses, that works for me. I'll send you both over the edge together. <laughs> End of the line. me off guard there that ought to do it what my job is to knock you out and I don't intend to let the seventh universe down freeze <laughs> your strategy worked well done team leader and now we get to the fun part don't look so anxious, Dispo. Your time to rest in the bleachers will arrive soon anyway. Don't do it! Got to protect the peace. Over here, boy. Let's get back to training. You haven't trained me since back when Cell was on the loose, remember? Of course not. You think I keep some kind of diary under my pillow? Well, I haven't forgotten, Father. A year in the hyperbolic time chamber with you? I'll always remember that. <laughs> Yeah. 
need to hold back. Use your Super Saiyan 3 like Goku did. <laughs> What's so funny? Let's go. Whoa, what level is that? We call this Super Saiyan Blue. There's no mistaking it. Father and Goku's new energy. Fighting against literal gods has pushed them beyond their natural abilities. Everyone, lend me your power! This isn't even the full extent of his power. Father's way ahead of me, that's for sure. My father and Goku could take on Black in their Super Saiyan Blue form. I guess there was no need for me to get stronger after all. Look at me, dumbass! Wipe that smile off your face! Stopping black! Is that your only goal? You think it ends there? Think about the next threat! In a year, or five, or ten! Or think about your pride! If Saiyan blood flows in your veins! If you are my son, as you claim, then I won't tolerate you losing to anything! <laughs> I hear you, and I will get stronger! Stronger than Black, and stronger than you! There's no need for impatience. It's your turn now. Let's finish them off nice and slowly. Trunks? You can leave black to me. Use your head. He's too much for you. I can do it, you'll see. Even if I have to pay the ultimate price. You're so brave, Trunks. It's touching. But you are a sinner. A sinner? You first defied time to save Goku when he was supposed to die of a heart illness. Isn't that right? If he had died, as history originally recorded, time would not have been split. He would have never challenged me, and I would not have had to take his body. But you warped history on it, ripped a hole in the fabric of time. You made this possible. All this horror, as you did, it all begins with you, Trunks. <laughs> you fool! May my strength be a shield! Don't you see? 
The time machine proves your mortal arrogance. Why you cannot be allowed to live. You both enabled and inspired us. You helped to light the flame of our justice. You helped to launch Project Zero Mortals. So, next time you mourn me, remember, they're dead because of you. All I've ever tried to do is save people from walking nightmares like you! I'll hold them off and give them everything I've got. But in case I fail, you need to find a way to defeat them. Do you take me for a coward? I'm not going to leave you here. No, it's right. It's the only way to save his future. You agree with this? You're not getting away. First, you'll have to deal with me. Hmm. Always so dependent on Goku and his friends. Justice together! Thus begins a new world. Father! Goku! So, another lamb wishes to be slow. Trunks, why did you... Father! <laughs> Zamasu, I'll make you pay for this! You're facing me now! Bless <laughs> Despite all my decrees, you're still completely oblivious to your sacrilege against me. We fight as one. Face my divine wrath. I'll witness the wrath. No, no. Interesting. The shame you are going to say. I am a strength via shield for all of us mortals. Oh, 
for your indiscretions with your life! Everyone, lend me your power! There's one thing we agree on. This world can be a paradise, but it belongs to us alone! And we will create it, not you! Smell the end of your Earth! Don't you see? You're done! So we. Watch out! Face my divine wrath! Now witness the wrath of the God! Everyone, lend me your power! I commend you for your fortitude, sinful as it is. You refuse to accept your destruction. But in the end, it will make no difference. Shit! My strength be a shield for this world and for all of us mortals. I'm putting all of our hope into this one blast. Gallic God! <laughs> you fools have already lost. Never. I'll never give up! They're counting on me! That's right! You show him, son! <laughs> Father! Samus, listen well. Don't underestimate mortals. Especially not Saiyans! Eat this! Galagon! <laughs> no matter how many of you mortals band together, you cannot prevail against the power of my life! Come on, Trunks! Give it all you've got! Right! Ah! This is the power of mortals! Enough of you impudent mortals! Away with you! Troops! Father! For more trunks? Yes, I can! Can't you see? I am everlasting! How will you escape my justice? You found past, begging for hell from the rest of your pathetic mortal herd. Or this time will you try the future? How 
how will you compensate for your weakness now? Compared to gods, of course we're weak. But you can never make me ashamed of that. Because when mortals do join forces, that's when we can do anything. Because believing in our fellow man and helping each other to survive... That's what redeems us. That's what makes us who we are. Makes us worthy. That's what gives us our real power! Samasu, never! Watch out! Watch out! We fight as one. So we. in from every living thing in this world. I can feel it. Keep it coming, you guys! Share your power with me! I don't care how much energy you collect. It will never compete with a god! Here we go, everyone! We'll defeat Zamasu! No! You're a mere mortal! It's not about gods and mortals! You don't believe in anything but yourself! And we won't let you win! I don't understand how it can be this strong! It feels chaotic! 
so many energies melded together! This is the power of mortals fighting for each other! The power of believing in something bigger than just you! But how? It can't be! Are you sure you can't stay a little longer, honey? Don't start getting sentimental. I'm just sad to see him go so soon. Besides, I imagine you might want to train with him some more, right? <clears throat> Mom. Father. Maybe she's right. If I were to train with Father again, I could become stronger than I've ever been. Shall we commence? You've improved quite a bit, but you still haven't become a true fighter. The real training starts now. Behind you! I couldn't see you. You were moving too fast. Your eyes will lie. Try to feel it. But I, I did feel it. That's the problem. From now on, whenever you're not eating or sleeping, you're fighting with me. No, no way! I'll die for sure! Then get stronger! Stronger than me. Stronger than the Saiyans who'll be here in six months. Don't get carried away! Stop you! Explosive demon wave! Well, it seemed that the last six months have wrung the crybaby out of you, at least. <laughs> yeah, but my dad used to tell me, 
He said, ever since you were reborn, you're not nearly as bad as you used to be. He said, now you're more grumpy than evil. <laughs> I don't know, I think he was kind of right. But, I mean, my mom is still totally scared of you and all. Stop blabbering and go to sleep. If you think today's training was hard, wait till you get a load of what I got in store for you tomorrow! Um, yes sir. Impudent little brat. I don't know if it's Kakarot, but something is on the way. And whatever it is, its power level exceeds 5,000. Nappa! Enough! Playtime is over! Eliminate them, now! We can't risk having all four team up on us. No, Piccolo! while we wait for Dad. <laughs> now what kind of nonsense is that? Do you expect me to let you go head to head with this oaf all on your own? Keep me busy, huh? <laughs> if that's what the brat wants, let's go! Damn it! <laughs> wow. 
What? Now! Now you're through! Die! Gohan, you're the only person I've ever known who didn't treat me like a monster. Piccolo, no! Just hold on! Please don't die! <clears throat> thank... thank you, Gohan. If I'd known that merging with another being could result in this kind of power, I'd have sought it out years ago. It's Piccolo! Sorry to keep you waiting. So that's Frieza. I see. He's even more hideous than I imagined. Yet another Namekian who escaped my attention. This one is far more imposing than the others. No matter, he will soon join the rest of his kind in oblivion. You're a slippery one! Why you? <laughs> now I will have vengeance in the name of all the Namekians you slaughtered! <laughs> Over here! It's over! You scum should consider this in honor. You will be the first ones to ever lay eyes upon me in this next state. Prepare yourself and behold! What do you think was it worth the wait? Now, if you're ready, let's begin round two, shall we? <laughs> You are such an eyesore! <laughs> Hope you're at peace! Special Beam Cannon!
Damn it! I'm in real trouble now. What happened to all that energy you had a moment ago? Is that tiny reservoir of strength all dried up now? I can't take this anymore! Dad needs our help! I'm going in! Wait a minute! I think he's got something up his sleeve! A spirit bomb! Huh? A spirit bomb? Is that what I think it is? I've never seen a mass of energy that size. Freeze is wise to Goku's ploy. You two, listen up. Whatever happens, I forbid you to interfere in any way. Farewell. Hurry, finish that spirit bomb before he comes back. Th thanks, Piccolo. How is that Namekian still drawing breath? I thought they'd all been taken care of. I hate to rush you, but something tells me Freeze is losing his patience. Hurry, launch it now! No! Not yet! Just a little bit longer! I'm beset on all sides by sneaking parasitic flies! This is more than I can stand! <laughs> nice. With what little they had left, they put it to good use. Okay, it's finally ready! Do it! What have you done? This is child's play! Your beastly tricks there! You dials! I will look! Let's not waste any time. So these are the fearsome androids, huh? Not quite the monsters I'd imagined. Huh? Go on, you see it too, right? Yeah, right. It seems his technique is rushed for some reason. Fights just started and Goku's wasting most of his power. That and his technique is sloppy. That's it. I'm stepping in. Mr. Piccolo? Piccolo! That's enough! Fall back, Goku! This enemy's mine! Do 
you actually think you can defeat us? Don't believe me? The results of my last three years of training are about to show you. Don't get carried away! Do not bother, it is futile! Sorry to make you wait. Hope you're at peace! Special Beam Cannon! It's no use fighting! Don't you mock me! All of you stand aside! I'll trash these worthless puppets! Vegeta! Android 20 got away. Hey, Goku! What's your condition? Seems like the heart virus hasn't kicked in as we were expecting. Yeah, but I can feel it setting in for sure. It was stupid of you not to bring the medicine in case this happened. At the very least, you should rest yourself. I'll swing by your place to pick up that medicine. In the meantime, why don't you head for Master Roshi's place and take it easy, okay, Goku? Thanks, Yamcha. And sorry for all the trouble. We'll keep up the pursuit of Android 20. Well, as much as I hate following Giro's orders, the idea of us standing around here doing nothing all day is driving me up the wall. I'll handle this. Come on. Just so you know, I won't be holding back. They're strong, but I can take them. If I have to choose between going into battle alongside the Namekian, the Earthlings, or Kakarot, I'd fight and die alone before accepting help from them! Beautiful speech. You know what? I would have gotten bored just watching anyway. So I'll jump in and we'll have a nice little two-on-two. -two. Have it your way. Alright, looks like I'm fighting you. I better watch myself. Over here! Don't you mock me! Huh? Better than I thought. These androids show no sign of exhaustion at all.
Gohan's hidden potential is starting to come to the surface. If we combine our strength, we'd be a force to be reckoned with. The virus is getting worse, isn't it? Yeah, but I can only take the medicine once it's completely infected me. Till I beat this thing, I'm not gonna be all that useful in combat. They're way stronger than we thought. Three years training wasn't enough, so the only way we're gonna stand a chance now is to train some more. Piccolo, I had wanted to train with Gohan in the hyperbolic time chamber, but would you go and train with him in my place? He has so much potential. I know you could bring out his latent power. But, but Dad, you're sure I have a power like that within me? Go on. Listen to me. I know you do. And I know you can feel it. You've already gotten so strong with your training as it is. Think of how much further you could go. <laughs> the hyperbolic time chamber, huh? All right, sounds like a good plan. But this training won't be exclusively for Gohan's benefit. I want to make sure that I too can keep holding my own in this battle. Mr. Piccolo, that sounds great! I'll work really hard! <laughs> 17 and 18! I found you at last! Ready to be absorbed! <laughs> what do you think? Absorbing that android made him stronger. Go on, we need to buy some more time. Okay, understood. Fight with everything you've got. <laughs> back a lot more impressively than I expected. You're actually making me question if I might want to retreat or not. Damn. I don't know how much longer we can last. Wait. This energy. Let's go! This is fun for me. Don't even bother. <laughs> Go on. I'll fight too. My body feels heavy, and it's so hot I can barely breathe. We have to be in here for a whole year? We have all the food and drink we need. It's the perfect environment to focus on training. So what kind of training are we going to be doing? 
More than anything, we need you to be able to become a Super Saiyan like your father. Then you need to go further beyond even that. But first, I'll be focusing on sharpening the parts of your skill set that are still a bit rough around the edges. Got it? Where should we start? You have a latent power that surpasses even Goku's strength. But you need a lot more combat experience in order to draw it out. In this fight, I'm going to come at you with killing intent. You need to defend yourself as if your life depends on it. So we're going no holds barred? If that's what it takes. I get that you don't have a passion for fighting. And that's all well and good. But your pacifism won't mean squat if the world gets destroyed. Now come on. You need to take this seriously or you'll get hurt. Yes, sir! Die! It's over! Sure! Think back to your previous enemies. What? Pass back. I couldn't protect everyone. I have to draw out my power. Don't make a sound, or it might be your last. Over here. Not a bad start. Don't forget how that feels. So, who will be going up against me first? Will it be Goku? Ooh, or perhaps Vegeta? I know damn well how powerful Cell has become in his perfect form, even before the fight's begun. But this is what I've trained for. Cell, I am prepared to be your first opponent. What? Mr. Piccolo! Are you sure? If I know Piccolo, he's got a plan in mind. So I say we let him do his thing! I'll give it all I've got. Even if there's only the slightest chance of winning. My, my. This is a delightful surprise. Piccolo! But I'm in a gracious mood, so I'll allow you to show me your progress. Good. The training I've endured all this time has been for the sole purpose of taking you down. So let's go! So go on then. Show me everything you can do. Again. 
goodness! The surprises just keep on coming! You're definitely strong. But... Interesting. Your improvements are actually quite remarkable. Unfortunately, there's still not enough to surpass mine. Hope you're at peace! Be gone! Hope you're at peace! Be gone! There's a lot more where this came from. Start taking this seriously then. Come on! I thought you were ready to fight me! Or are you just ready to surrender? <laughs> he's. he's gonna kill Mr. Piccolo! Stop it! Some energy. Fantastic! I do believe my next opponent has already been decided. We're not done! Actually, we are. Leave him alone! Want me to end it already? <laughs> I'm not letting him off that easy. He deserves to feel the same pain he put all his victims through. Stay calm. I'm fine, see? No, Mr. Piccolo. For all the horrible things he's done to you and the others. He needs to pay before I kill him. Listen, remember your training. Remember why you continue to fight. For your family, your friends, to protect the Earth. Y you're right. Forgive me, Mr. Piccolo. Cell, I think you understand how much stronger I am than you. So carrying on with this fight is pointless. Will you surrender? What's wrong? Where did all that confidence disappear to? No, he's become more powerful than ever. <laughs> now it's my turn to torture you before I kill you. <laughs> I, I won't let you! Oh, for the love of... Have you still not realized that I'm done with you? Stand aside or die! I told you I wasn't done. This is still my fight, too. Go on. I'll buy you some time. Rest until you're ready to finish him. <sighs> right! Oh, 
buying some time, are you? <laughs> How much? Maybe a few measly seconds? Over here! Over here! Stay on the bench. <laughs> I know my limits better than anyone. But still. Mr. Piccolo! Forget it. What's wrong? There's a lot more with this came from. You won't survive this time. You damn it! You won't survive this time! The fun has run out. I'm going to destroy this planet and wipe you all out at once. <sighs> it's wide open. The special beam cannon might work on him now. You're less than dirt! Damn it! You won't survive this time! Fight with everything you've got! You don't! You're less than dirt. Be gone. Hell's a grenade. There's no escaping me. Let's go. It's a war. There's a lot more with this kid from. You won't be able to outrun me. <laughs> it was the best I could do. energy. She could actually beat Cell. I don't think so. <clears throat> no good. Their power's evenly matched, so I'd better tip the scale. See you in hell! No! Over? Go on, you're alive! Yeah, I'm okay. But I was a fool. 
I didn't finish Cell when I had the chance, and now Dad... No. Don't blame yourself. Even if Goku had been fighting in your place, things likely would have gone the same. You two are so alike, it's hilarious. What you share isn't being naive. It's compassion for even your worst enemies. And it's because of that compassion that I'm still alive to this day. Mr. Piccolo! Gohan, be proud of the man you are. Your kindness isn't a weakness. In fact, it's your greatest strength. Someday, I want to become just as strong as you and Dad, Mr. Piccolo. Will you help me? Wow. You grow up fast, kid. He's usually not this sloppy. If he was fighting at his full capability, this android would already be a pile of scrap. <laughs> no calling your comrades now. Your energy will be all mine. Gohan, come to me, quickly. The android is... Yeah. What? There's no way he could have found us so quickly. Vegeta, back off! He's mine! Don't interfere, he says. <laughs> Excellent. He's handing me another opportunity to absorb his strength. And the second I do... What are you whimpering about over there, huh? This will stop you! Come meet your doom. You have no chance to survive. This will stop you. Explosive demon wave. Come meet your doom.
Now, you tell me what kind of creature you are. Make it quick. Talk or else. I try to make a habit of not talking to you. Before you add me to your collection, you are at least going to tell me this. What sort of abomination are you? My name is Cell. I am an android. I was created by the computer in Dr. Giraud's secret laboratory. That lunatic again, huh? Years ago, Dr. Giraud began collecting cell samples from the world's greatest fighters, hoping to synthesize their DNA and create the ultimate android. However, I cannot become truly perfect until I have absorbed two highly specialized life forms. And what sort of specialized life forms are you talking about? The ones I need are two of Dr. Giraud's other creations, Android 17 and 18. And once I achieve my perfect form, I will be invincible! The greatest power the universe has ever known! All right. I've heard plenty. That's everything I need to know. You... You tricked me! It was all a ploy to get me to talk! Now that I know what you are, I know how to stop you. Well, here I am. Go ahead, show me what you've got. What? You're finished! What? Looks like you're all out of moves, android! Nice try, but still not enough. Huh, <laughs> you wait, I'm still just getting started. <laughs> Don't expect me to go easy on you this time. <laughs> Let's go! No more screwing around! Take this! Get up. Get up. 
Now who is this freak? Yes, finally. There they are. A feast for the eyes. The two androids that I will absorb to complete my design and realize my perfect form. Not so fast. Your fight is with me! You're less than dirt! Be gone! Hell's a grenade! <laughs> There's no escaping me. Let's go! <laughs> Seventeen, go! Get away from him! Now, let's get started. I really must hand it to you. In all my years, I've never been so angry as I am now. Yeah. 
Play for a bit. Strange. I could swear I've seen him before. Yes, of course! He's the spitting image of that impertinent Saiyan who rebelled against me right before I destroyed planet Vegeta! 
I have no intention of allowing even a single Saiyan to live. And in the name of every single Saiyan that you've made suffer, for them and all the people of planet Namek too, I will defeat you! And I would just love to see you try. Share your energy with me! Here I over here, Frieza! How I tire of swatting these flies. You see, I'm able to survive in the vacuum of space. But can you? I now perish along with this planet! <laughs> I can do this! I'm beset on all sides by sneaking parasitic flies! This is more than I can stand! Let's wrap this up. You see, I'm able to survive in the vacuum of space. But can you? I do. Now perish along with this planet! <laughs> I'll handle this. Whatever happens, you just stay put. I forbid you to interfere in any way. How is that Namekian still drawing breath? I thought they'd all been taken care of. Sorry to make you wait. Hope you're at peace. Special beam cannon. Why you? You meddling brats! I hope you all enjoy suffering the same fate as this planet! Okay, it's finally ready! Do it! It's time for sudden death! Why don't we finish with the rehearsal and commence with a real battle? <laughs> what have you done? No, it, it can't be. Frieza's alive! Both of you, now! I advise against placing too much stock in your escape. Though if you like, I can bring you closer to home! I may be injured, but I'm still more than capable of exterminating you worms!
Now you've made me mad! Frieza! It's over, Frieza. I'll destroy this entire planet! You are too worried about getting caught in the wake of your own explosion. You failed once again. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm still alive. Five minutes will be more than enough time. As a matter of fact, I can beat you and get my friends out of here in far less. There will only be one of us to leave, and I fear that privilege won't go to you. For all your heroics, the odds are stacked against it. With my full power, I'll end this. Right now! But can you, I mean, not. Now perish along with this plague! <laughs> Prepare yourself! Seventy percent! Eighty! One hundred percent! My apologies for the wait. As requested, this is my full power! Then do you want to finish this, or are you just going to keep talking? I the most powerful being in the universe. Which is why. Which is why. You must die by my hand. You won't. Is that all? All right, you have our attention. What brings you here? To kill you two, what else? Kill us? Oh, I'm terrified. <laughs> if only you knew with whom you were picking a fight. Oh, I know. Yeah, you're Frieza, right? Wanna hear a secret? I happen to know that Goku isn't the only Super Saiyan. Matter of fact, you're looking at one. What?
Here at last, Goku. I've been waiting a long time for this. Finally, I can claim the revenge I've dreamed of for all these years. I didn't think I'd see Vegeta with you, but monkeys do travel in troops. <laughs> And I thought we were done with you for good, Frieza. Last I remember, you were in about a thousand pieces. His minions used the Dragon Balls, is that right? Yes, and how poetic it was, using Earth's Dragon Balls to save me from the humiliation that was Earth's hell. Don't try to put that on me, Frieza. You're the one who came to Earth looking for a fight. That's why Trunks took your life. It was your choice! Oh, but I had to come here, Goku. That's what you're far too thick-headed to understand. Your death is my remedy and required before I move on. Because I'll never be able to sleep in this cosmos knowing that I share it with you. The first time we fought, I made mistakes and you caught me off guard. To ensure that doesn't happen again, I'll take my final form from the start! You can change, Frieza. I can tell you're a lot stronger, too. I'm so glad you've noticed. I've been training intensively every day since my return to make sure I wouldn't lose to you again. Having to put real effort into anything was a first for me, Goku. I'll make sure you pay for that as well. <laughs> Looks like I won't have the luxury of easing into this. I'll have to give you everything I've got right off the bat. <laughs> Do you want to see? All right, now it's your turn. Let's see this new power of yours. Care to cut to the chase, do we? Very well, then I won't hold anything back either. Die! Now brace yourself! Behold my newfound evolution! Whoa! And for the sake of your feeble mind, let's keep the name simple as well. We'll call this Golden Freezer. You're no pushover. It's really too bad you're rotten to the core. You could have been the perfect sparring partner. What a waste of talent. That's exactly the kind of small-minded drivel that makes your existence so intolerable. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Fierce! You forgot to say Lord. That's not polite, Frieza. I guess you must be thinking even more highly of yourself than usual. <laughs> Forgive me, Lord Beerus. <laughs> Did you wish for me to hold my vengeance? <laughs> Why would I possibly care about that? It's my turn! Number one. <laughs> I'll reduce you to nothing but dust. Let There is nothing left for you except death! I'll send you straight to hell! Oh my, I seem to have gotten a little dust on me. It's useless! Over here! You do nothing but die! 
pass me! Not that. It's over, Frieza. There won't even be pieces left to resurrect this time. <laughs> you can all go to hell without me. the finish you're going overboard well 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 isn't this a lovely little surprise I didn't know you cared so much for me Gohan are you my knight in not so shining armor you're part of my team of course I'm helping you are you sure you want to fight for someone with such an admittedly spotty record in the trust department? Next time I could betray you for real. If you do know this, I will end you myself. <laughs> Is that so? Perhaps we can puff out our chests at each other later, but for now let's work as a team, assuming you can keep up. Don't worry about me. Come on, Dispo. You're facing both of us now. Don't get cocky just because you landed one blow. If you want to double your universe's losses, that works for me. I'll send you both over the edge, together. <laughs> Revel in that delusion while you can still cling to it. Oh my God. Nice moves. Super maximum light speed mode! Useless! Over here! Tremble before my power! I'll reduce you to nothing but dust. Attracted the attention of a genuine monster. Jiren! Yeah! <laughs> 
this rate, we're goners. Frieza, I'll create an opening for you. You'll know it when you see it. Just don't miss your chance, got it? Very well, Gohan. Far be it from me to argue with the ever so brilliant team leader of the seventh universe. It seems to me that you lack the appropriate degree of urgency. There's no time left to toy with your prey. I hope you'll forgive me for doing this while your hands are tied. <sighs> I should have expected this from a self-proclaimed pride trooper. Hubris can do wonders for one's constitution. Consider these stronger attacks a tribute to your valor. <laughs> Come now, muscles. Won't you direct your so-called powers of justice at me? <sighs> Honestly, this isn't much fun if you don't fight back. Perhaps the moment's come to put you down without killing you, as regrettable as that is. Farewell, Trooper. Trash deserves to be tossed. No. I won't be fighting for justice any longer. That side of me is through. Oh, very well. I don't know what you're doing, but I do love a good show and tell. I thought you were going to show off some grand transformation. All you've done is put an even grumpier scowl on your face. Let's hope you're right. I suppose the only way to find out is to put him to the test. Oh? That power. Okay. This is the end. Yeah. So pizza. That's right. It's a form of energy only destroyer gods can wield. All that remained was for him to make the decision and accept the mantle. Yes. We have now witnessed the birth. A topple! The Destroyer! Am I meant to bow? Even Destroyers pale against the glow of Golden Frieza! Oh, right. I do believe I've seen this technique before. Yes, the energy of destruction. I think this time one had to do. This 
This is the end. But that would only disqualify you. Trash deserves to be tossed, correct? Android 17. Jared, you have to get rid of them while you still can. You're almost out of time. Goku's looking pretty useless now. We're gonna have to handle this ourselves. Yes, obviously. So much effort, just to keep a fallen ally in the ring. That will do you no good. Does the trust you place in your friends really make you so good? Trust in friends? I think you're trying to make me vomit. If I need to pummel him again, so be it. He's just some extra insurance. But I do plan to claim the Super Dragon Balls for myself. So if you're smart, the only one you should intend to pummel is me. My, my, what's happened to your stoic poker face? You seem a bit winded. Shut your mouth! That hard outer shell of strength has been cracked, and now you're quite fragile, aren't you? I can practically hear the screaming in your tortured soul. I think you're terrified of being weak and helpless once again. There is nothing left for you except death! I'll send you straight to hell! Who'd have thought my precious golden form would drain my stamina so ridiculously fast? Sorry about that, you guys. I didn't mean to leave you like that, but I got this. I don't need to share the limelight with you either, monkey. Come on, Frieza. We've all pushed ourselves as far as we can go on our own. You know that. The three of us need to do this together to get this done, or our universe is doomed. Kieran is truly amazing. He's gotten this strong all on his own. We still may not be enough for him even with all three of us teaming up. You do remember your promise, don't you, Goku? To bring me back to life? Seriously, Frieza? Uh, will you keep 
keep your word or won't you? As long as you hold up your end of the bargain and help us win, I'll hold up mine. You should know that better than anyone by now, don't you think? Hmm. That sickening naivete of yours is what I quite despise most of all. But for my own self-interest, I should probably thank you. You guys done yet, or you want a hug first? Nothing would repulse me more. I need you to throw me, say it! You got it! Are you sure that's wise? Because I have no intention of mending my wicked ways, you know. Well, if you do act up, I'll just put you down again. Oh, good. I can't wait to see you try. Puny mortals. Your judgment is at hand! I see you have returned, dear Saiyan. Thanks to you, my power will only grow to greater heights. did in the past can affect me. Can't believe he actually killed a Supreme Kai. But of course, as you know, only a Supreme Kai can wield the power of the time. To bring about the justice I desire, I needed the perfect sympathizer as my ally. A fighter I could trust, who agonized as I did over the folly of mortal Kai. Someone I knew for certain longed for the same grand utopia in their heart. In other words, he needed me. In this reality we see as an ultimate future, I was floundering in despair. I lacked the will to act. I knew from the box of rings this parallel future existed, so I came to forge my alliance. What? I won't lose. <laughs> Thank you. Your anger feels silly and incredible. You must pay for your sins against time. Die! Maybe I am a sinner, but I don't care. I'll do whatever it takes to save this planet. How? I didn't think you were capable of reaching this level of power. It does make me perfect. You fool! Finished! Mercy!
I'll hold them off and give them everything I've got. But in case I fail, you need to find a way to defeat them! Goku and the others are back, as expected. So, the curtain rises, and our Act 3 begins. Our Master Goesu and the other Kais were foolish enough to believe mortals could be entrusted with intellect. As a result... You, malefactors, have developed time travel. A privilege only meant for the Kais. This machine is the quintessential reason why your kind must be eliminated. Well, it appears they're not listening to you. No matter. I'm so intoxicated by myself, I don't care if I have an audience. One of the many benefits of being a god. Fine. What's done is done. I'd rather win with our fist than some magic trick anyway. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. A gift from the gods, as is their energy. But you arrogant Saiyans act as if you created this strength all on your own. Could you? Figured it out. The reason for the runaway growth in your power level compared to my own. It's anger, isn't it? Watching us hurt your son made you angry, which made you stronger. So that's how Saiyan strength works. How primal. Turning your raw emotions into power. Only a pathetic mortal like yourself can thrive on a tactic that unrefined. Which explains why it took me so long to realize it. And I, too, shall lose my anger. Anger toward the mortals who defile the universe. Anger toward the other gods who have tolerated such behavior. And most importantly, the white, hot rage I now feel toward myself for letting you get the upper hand on me in our battle. This was just the start. I channeled my divine... You! Vegeta! my turn now! <laughs> What's the matter, mortals? Relax! Don't be afraid. I thought you Saiyans loved fighting the strongest. What? <laughs> Turn anger into power. Huh. <laughs> My limitless wrath makes me the strongest being in the universe. My counterpart's energy just vanished. And I'm just a sudden faint it reappeared. But now it feels much weaker for some reason. Like he's barely present. He must have run into some trouble completing his part of our gambit. Admit defeat!
How did you disgrace yourself against those mortals? We were barely separated. What went wrong? It seems many of our assumptions about mortals were badly mistaken. They are much more than just insignificant worms. If we're not careful, our dream of utopia is going to be ruined before it's even begun. Very well. No more games or half measures. Because these insolent mortals continue to defy and profane us, we will reveal to them the ultimate power of the gods. It's time to show them divine perfection made whole. You pathetic, lowly mortals. Kneel before our radiance! and bow down before our splendor. Worship me, give praise unto me, me the beautiful, the sublime, me the invincible, the almighty and divine. All hail, Samus. I can feel it, two glorious and unparalleled powers dissolving into one within me. So he's even stronger now! That's just what we need! The power coursing through me is exceptional, glorious, absolute, stare in awe! I am justice incarnate! Trump! Keep Bulmer safe! You insult minuscule saints. Bear witness as I show you the power of my divine light. <laughs> Hearken unto me. I am the brightly glowing sun in the sky which illuminates this world. And all shall know that my brilliance is justice. I, the god Zamasu, am the universal wisdom, the universal law, and yes, the universal power. And all those whom my light shines on shall be oblivious. At long last, on this glorious day, Project Zero Mortals will culminate with the eradication of all life on this planet. Then, Utopia will rise from the ashes. What the hell is he talking about? Don't get ahead of yourself, Zamasu. First, you have to beat me. Lo, but you're still denying the inevitable. Go kill! Samasu! Get ready, cause I'm knocking your lights out for good! You simple-minded bomb, Saiyan. The light of the mortals that will soon be extinguished! Blasphemous fool! You continue to defy a god! of divine justice strike at me now a cowering god who appeases evil can never prevail no 
Who are you? Get ready for this! You two doubled up, so we did the same. You know, just to play fair. We're a merged fighter, the combination of Vegeta and Kakarot. Vegito! And here's something new. Vegito Blue! Always try to emulate the divine. Now, why is that? Is it because we gods are so wondrous? Are you coveting our undeniable beauty? It's so tragic. You are doomed to fail. Acts of gods are beautiful because we are inherently pure, while mortal endeavors will inevitably become. Wicked. Corrupted and marred by sin. Sorry, but if you want me bowed at your feet, you'll have to do it by force. I don't need your prostrations, mortal. I just need you dead. Ultimate symbol of the failure of Kai's. If I take Goku's flesh of my being, I have assumed both sin, mortal Kai, and the failure of divinity, so they may never be repeated. Got an answer for everything, huh? You see, I do this for the good of the cosmos, for creation. Are you seriously crying? I am. And proudly so. My tears shall sanctify this blighted world. You must be stunned. A pure and perfect multiverse made clean by Zavasu's hand! <laughs> of your pathetic mortal herd, or this time will you try the future? 
how will you compensate for your weakness now? Compared to gods, of course we're weak. But you can never make me ashamed of that. Because when mortals do join forces, that's when we can do anything. Because believing in our fellow man and helping each other to survive, that's what redeems us. That's what makes us who we are, makes us worthy. That's what gives us our real power! Dare strike a god and retaliate against justice! I don't give a damn about you or your so-called justice! Here we go, everyone! I can feel it. Keep it coming, guys. Share your power with me! existence. What lies beyond strength itself? Such power from her war cry alone. Jiren! I must act. It's over. Jiren, can you hear me? You no longer need to conserve your power. I want you to crush that Goku from the seventh. My ally, do what you feel is required. Do whatever fulfills your desires. Fight so that you may claim the Super Dragon Ball. So, you finally decided to fight me after all this time. <laughs> Yeah! 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 
I need a lot more time to gather enough energy. I'll wait. Take however much time you require. If this is your special move, then I want it done right. Jaren, once you're out, I hope you don't regret giving me the time to finish this. This is what it looks like when the Seventh Universe unites! This is our spirit bomb! Mm. Seriously? Who endures? What has he done? Ultra Instinct. All the others are surprised too. It must be something super spectacular. Well, at this point it would be premature for me to verify it is true. However, it is certainly a development that demands attention.
Well, Saiyan, you're a truly fascinating creature. However, your passion is expended. You have nothing more to offer. The infamous assassin of the Sixth Universe. Just why are you here? To do my job. Tell me, assassin. Do you really think you can stop me? Like I said, that's my job. How many times must you fail? End this futility. And how many times must I tell you I will do my job until the end? Try to keep up. Too slow. Over here. Too slow. You're wide open. Don't interfere with Jiro. Leave him to me. But while he's contained, there's much more you three can do. So move! We must save the sixth universe. Too slow. Medium. A waste of time. Try to keep up. Too wide open. Do you know what the pride of an assassin is good for? Nothing. How about you, Jiren? What would you choose? It seems to me you just want to be known as the strongest. Or is there more? I too have a wish to make of the dragon. Perhaps it's time that all of you know the true reason behind Jiren's obsession with strength. And Jiren was left all alone. He suffered through untold grief when those he trusted walked away, betraying their principles for the easier path. As he saw it, there was only one great truth. Might makes right. And strength determines all. Only victories ensure allegiance. Subdue and others will follow. Having feelings just got in the way. I'm enamored by his singular resolve. This colossal strength built on a bedrock of suffering and desolation. 
trouble trusting people? Because it looks like your teammates have been trusting you, but you've just been using them to get what you want. Shut up! You don't know nothing about Jerry! Let me guess. You think if you win, everything can go back to the way it was. You'll have the dragon undo what happened. I want strength. Strength is absolute. Power forgives everything, even the past. You've already seen you can't compete with my strength, no matter how many of you weaklings team up. <laughs> Your confidence is pissing me off. Skipping your usual transformation? I'm more than a match for you like this! You are done. This is pointless. You should exit the ring. Shut your mouth. If that's how you want it, then fine. I'm done playing these games. No escape! Your battle is already over, Saiyan. You know it's futile, and yet something pushes you to keep going. What could it be? <laughs> Good question. But even if I told you, you wouldn't understand. You wouldn't know what it means to fight for others with all your heart and soul. As your foe, I acknowledge the power of your pride. But it's over. Even if I'm not the one who does it. Even if I'm not the one who delivers the final blow. As long as the universe wins, it's fine by me. So he entrusted his energy to you. More foolishness dressed as valor. Trust provides nothing but a path to the grave. I'm standing here because Vegeta and the rest of my team trusted I could find a way to pull this off. I'll win because I refuse to let them down. I won't fail. <laughs> Jiren has been watching. He has studied Goku's power and the way the Saiyan fights, during their own battles and as a spectator while Goku fought Kefna. Goku may be super amazing, but Jiren is super, super amazing. So he knows how to block. Who can? A strong defense will only get him so far. Without an offense to match, he has no chance of victory. With his incomplete Ultra Instinct, all he's doing is delaying the inevitable. You called it incomplete, which implies he hasn't fully mastered it yet. Don't tell me you're stupid enough to ignore the obvious implications of that. Are you suggesting that he can master Ultra Instinct in the time that he has left? <laughs> you're a fool. That's impossible! 48 minutes. That's all we were given for this tournament of power. Yet in that brief time span, we Saiyan warriors have shattered our limits time after time. You've seen it with your own eyes, destroyer. Jiren, 
What are you waiting for? End this! Knock Goku out of this tournament now! <laughs> So it shall, Goku. I don't care if it's true Ultra Instinct. It won't matter. Jiren will never lose. He can't lose. Right and might alone. Without strength, we have nothing. If I don't win, then all my effort, all I've struggled to achieve, all of it will have been pointless. I'll lose everything, just like I did before. And I absolutely refuse to go through that again. This is everything. him into a corner. It seems the prospect of him losing made him relive all the trauma from his past. Goku had the edge, damn it. You will not stand in my way! Tell me how. How you stand up no matter how many times... Farewell. As incredible as you are, now you have to admit what I've been saying is true, right? You understand, don't you? You are a true warrior, Goku. There can be no doubt. I regret that our spirited battle must have such an inglorious end. What a shame. But though you shall soon vanish from existence, know that you shall live forever in my memory. Farewell. Goku's looking pretty useless now. We're gonna have to handle this ourselves. Yes, obviously. 
That hard outer shell of strength has been cracked, and now you're quite fragile. It's as though I can hear the screaming in your tortured and wounded soul. I think you're terrified of being weak and helpless once again. This time you'll get more than just a scratch. I've learned your tricks. Wanna bet? Well, Jiren, you did your best. I know you did. What are you doing, Jiren? Kneeling down at your enemy's feet? Is this honestly the way you want your fight to end? Get up! Come on! Why would you spend all those years honing your strength, rejecting everything and everyone else, just to surrender? Keep fighting to the end! Oh, please, I really am going to wretch. That's enough! Frieza, get out of there! You can't lose! Sorry about that, you guys. I didn't mean to leave you like that, but I got this! So, Goku, once again you have returned, and once again you will fall. Sharon's focusing an incredible amount of energy now. Damn it, he did it! Finally out of his own head! No escape! Jiren is truly amazing. He's gotten this strong all on his own. We still may not be enough for him, even with all three of us teaming up. You do remember your promise, don't you, Goku? To bring me back to life? Seriously, Frieza? Will you keep your word or won't you? As long as you hold up your end of the bargain and help us win, I'll hold up mine. 
You should know that better than anyone by now, don't you think? That sickening naivete of yours is what I quite despise most of all. But for my... I need you to throw me, Saiyan! You got it! One alley you coming up! Contestant Jiren is eliminated. The 11th has been defeated. They will now be expunged. Jiren, we thank you. You thank me? I ignored you during this whole tournament. My ambitions were my only goal. I know we just barely finished the battle of our lives, but... I'm already hungry for the next fight. Maybe you don't want to hear this. I hope to see you again, Jiren. Until next time, Goku. We shall meet again.